playing with the plan. Hmm. If you feel trouble while and wild, don't need violent and hit you. Eight thousand. Wait a minute, hold that stylus dial. Damn, goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, see shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters try to run with us. They gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the Vader players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get life savers. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is knock? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game. I'm out. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Dan here, guys. Welcome back to WWE 2K23 in the My Rise, uh, the lock storyline. Um, it's been a minute since we've actually uh, split a stream in order to start a second one. Obviously, though, that first stream is a little bit shorter. Uh, we haven't had a stream that short in a long time. So, really, it's still going to be basically the same amount of time that we'd normally stream for anyway. Um, obviously, just the fact that we're just splitting it by... Uh, mission a little more organized that way this one is going to be a little bit longer however this this one here uh do the evolution had a lot of tag matches so i'm thinking anything with singles we should be relatively speedy with so this one is apparently going to be uh roughly the same length zach shout out to you thank you so much for becoming a member once again let's go get that puppy rolling so we'll update that in just a second so we're kind of in a kind of a like a crossroads position. So this is going to be interesting. I'm curious to see where they're going to go with this because we were fired from Raw for attacking Shawn Michaels. Uh, we were fired from a mocap gig. So now I guess we're trying to come back and just like get out of this slump that we're in. And obviously this, this next chapter has 13 challenges to complete with four main missions. I believe there's one at the bottom. Yep. So four main missions, uh, five optional storylines, I think it might be a bit more. Yep, five optional storylines and four challenge uh, missions as well. So nothing too crazy. Um, I think we should be able to do this in like the next four hours-ish. I mean, it depends. If it's all singles content, it's so much easier to get through a story if you're taking on one guy than tags. Tag matches, like if, if, the, if the last cha chapter, if we had done other th other matches, it wouldn't have been, if it was singles, it would have been even shorter than that. The tag matches are the ones that really take up all the time. So um, I figured it'd be more organized to do it this way. They're doing things very different than the last uh, last game of, or 2K22, whereas they just put you in a brand and the whole brand you just spent your time um, going, f you know, doing as many missions as you can. There was a face and a heel. This one doesn't have that. It doesn't have a face mission or a heel mission. It just has a mission, and it kind of writes that face heel thing for you. So it really is kind of interesting, but uh, it's more organized and I, it's more linear. So I guess it just depends how you guys look at it if you like that or not. Uh, I, I I don't mind it. I like a bit of order to my stories, but I do like having the ability to to control things a little more because like. I mean, they've always done this in 2K games, WWE 2K games, where, like, they, you're doing fine and you're kicking ass in, like, a match, and then they just write a script where you lose due to some cheese, but it's all part of setting up the story, so it's just the way that it goes. Matt, thank you for joining the membership program as well. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. So that puts us at uh, 453 overall. Almost at our 455 member goal that I placed in. So big shout out to everyone. So thank you guys for coming back. I hope you're ready to continue with this and the New World Border chapter. If you are, make sure you're leaving a like on the stream. And don't forget to say what's up in the chat as well. Let's go through chat really quick and we will get this going. All right, what up, Tim? Hey, T-Roy. Welcome back, you guys. What's up, Judd? Hey, Silver. Adam. Logan, what's going on? Hey, Christian. Hey, Thomas. What's up, Matt G? Hey, AG. What's going on? Uh, what's up, Darth? What's up, James? Hey, Zach. Welcome. Uh, what's up, Disney? How you doing? Welcome, Gerard. Hey, Kevin. Good to see you. Good to see you. What's up, Christian? Zach, of course. What's up? Hey, Steven. Hey, Bill. How you doing, bro? What's up, Mike? Uh, welcome, welcome. 
uh matt of course uh well welcome once again what's up beast hey kareem thank you guys for coming uh what's up robbie how you doing thank you guys for joining me like i said so let's see if we can get a few more likes on this hit that like button guys slap that like button consider following in uh both matt's and kevin or zach's rather sorry uh footsteps and join that membership program you can join it link in the description join buttons below the video and on my main channel page as well if you can't find that. You can also gift those memberships to other people if you want to hook someone up with some cheer, with some Danky 8000 swagoo. Uh, then go ahead and check the bottom. You have to be on mobile, or sorry, Android mobile uh, or desktop to do it. iPhone is currently not available, but it's on its way. Uh, next to the chat bar, dollar sign icon, you can gift anywhere from 1 to 50 members at a time through that. So let's see if we can get going. Anyway, in the meantime, I don't think we actually have a whole lot to do. We might have attributes to spend. We got 40 total, so yes. If I want, I can boost my resilience again. I have enough to do one and maybe a submission. But it's kind of redundant, so it's like, do I want... Let's take a look at what it is now. Okay, let's go into resiliency. So it's 82, 75. So it's across the board. It's kind of mid 70s, mid to 75 to 80 kind of for the durability and recovery and specials at roughly the same. But if we boost it, it's going to go up by two, I believe. So that's 82, 77. So it's not dramatic, but it is a decent amount. So for example, this one's already at that running offense. If I boost it just for fun, bring it to a nine. Now, uh, the aerial or the running offense goes to an 81 overall and everything else is a 101. That's what I mean. It's kind of overkill, I think, for the time. So I think I might boost striking and get that boost. I think striking is going to be good to get. So we'll get that. We're 91 overall. It's not possible to be stacked out, by the way. Anyway, let's check out the social feed. Rollins has something to say. I know I've had my share of run-ins with WWE officials over the years, but that was brutal. The lock should be locked up. Wow. Come on, Seth. I wake up in Japan and my latest video is not trending, but Shawn Michaels and Danky with thousand dollars. Check what happened on Raw. Oh, clown. Randy Orton. Dan has clearly gone off the rails. Glad he's no longer part of Evolution. Even better now. WWE. Good riddance. Triple H. I'll com I'll comment on the action of Danky with thousand at a later date. All I care about now is that my brother Shawn is going to be okay. Gabe Slade. Didn't picture it ending this way or this soon, but Dan was never cut out for WWE, especially mentally. I tried to help him along the way, but he was a lost cause. Focused on my own career and success from here on out. Okay, that's some shade. All right, well, there's no new here. What about in the DMs? Real Tavish. He's with us right now. Uh, rough night with the title loss and attack from the Hurt Business then. I just saw your post about quitting Evo. Are you okay? I'm worried about you. Never been better. I'll learn up from here. So that's an old one. No stories there. So we got to kick things off right off the bat, guys. And we're just going to start this mission with Tavish. Let's get it. On my hey, Charles. was good. Again. I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, I wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting. And you were impressive as hell. However... There's one thing you always churn down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. <laughs> no, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. Gold rest her soul. <sighs> Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. And how is that working out for you? There's a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes, you have to learn how to play within the system. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say, but sure. What I learned is, you can wear the wig for a bit, and then you can always take it off. But at least, it gave it a fair shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK, and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me you're ready to wear a wig. Let's do okay, it. Okay, fine. I'll give it a shot. At least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister is the bartender now. I think you love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. 
<laughs> Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind. That's funny. All right, a lot to unpack. So we're going to the UK. That's awesome. So we're kind of like underground. By the way, I just checked during that cutscene and uh, check on the numbers of, you know, for our membership. And the, the 50 gifted from like a month ago expired. So we're down to 403. But that's okay. We're still cracking four. So that's good. And anyway, we're off in Leeds now. Leeds, England. I love how the chapter is him just holding a coffee, just staring at the camera. Like, that's what you get. He's like, you better be drinking that Bones and using Danky with Thousands promo code for that one. Seriously. I'm going to come smack you. All right. So, Tavish. This is interesting. I like these kind of things, though. So, if we're in these circuit. Do you knock off that pesky jet lag? No. Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? Take shots. Two tequila shots right here. This is actually a British rules tournament. As in, you'll be competing in multiple British rules matches. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. Now stop being a baby. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one. But here's the thing. If you don't get your act together... You'll lose in the first round, and you won't have to worry about any subsequent matches, will you? I'm already regretting this. Oi, suck it up! You're gonna be fine. And besides, the crowd is already here. So there's no backing out now. Yeah, no kidding. He's awful, baby. Put in the work, man. Who cares? It's just one or two matches extra. I mean, I don't know. They might, they might knock your teeth in with the, uh, with that fanny pack. But hey. Be you. Be okay, all you can be. What do you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but he'll lie his butt off if he thinks a situation calls for it. Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? I want to win it. Now that I'm here, I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then that's what I'm going to do. It could really help kickstart my comeback. Jesus Christ. This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have no idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. The matches are two out of three falls, and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament. Especially since it's all taking place in one night. Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself. It's, it's, I feel like a lot of wrestlers should try and, you know, perform in these various other circuits just so they could see how different it is. Look at this, look at this ring. Working, throwing the buck at him. No announcers, just pure wrestling. Straight wrestling. After I'm done with him, he's going to be Adrian Scent. That's all he's going to be worth. I got my hero powers, bitch. <laughs> Bye. Power bombed him. Oh, I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to leave. Hitting that Latino heat. What the fuck, man? Is why is YouTube so broken? No, don't answer, guys. It's catfishing. YouTube's fucking moderation tools aren't working. <sighs> What's up, Abdullah?
Oh, I missed it? Uh, man, sometimes you have to be mad quick. Oh my god, that's pretty bad, man. Hold on. Let's try that. Yeah, Zach, it's all scripted, right? So it's going to be the same across the board for this storyline. All right, hopefully there's no rope break. He should be out because whenever there's multi-falls... Why do you, what do you mean, Zach? It's part of the story. If you're, you're gonna restart, you understand that it's gonna happen again, right? The whole point is to progress it. To do this, so you end up on this circuit. That's the whole point of the story. It's, it's scripted, bro. I think I'm a little far. What's up, Darren? I have to do this multiple times, though, so I'm trying to... Oh, my God. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we'll see. Probably not. It's the one to win it. Oh, lol. Just kidding. We passed the buck. That we are, Darren. That we are. We're working our way up through the indie circuit to try and get a break again. Because obviously the storyline's not going to end until we are back in WWE and hit that uh, championship. We'll see what happens from here. Look who wore a wig. <laughs> and you're gonna get to wear it some more. It wasn't bad, I guess. Actually, kind of fun. Well, your next opponent is gonna be tougher. But the important part is that you're learning to get outside your comfort zone. And if you manage to win the match, even better. You have any kind of scouting report on this next guy? Oh, no, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a point. Nice blacks. Oh, so, no. how did you know he's tougher then? Made it up. Seemed like a coach thing to say. Anyway, I'm headed back for another free round. Good luck. Okay. Off to the match. Second round. I'm assuming it's best of three. That's usually how these things go. Well, they said it's a tournament. It wouldn't be a tournament of two. Trent Shaw. His legs are already hurt. So I think I might work that. Well, because he's in the tournament. So whatever damage you have is carrying over. What's up, Godzilla? How you doing? Yeah, you're not even allowed to leave.
Working that leg. See, he's already in the orange. Oh, he got me. Look at this, just working them legs. Just keep working them. I want to get them in the red. There they are. It's going to be harder for homeboy to kick out when you work the legs. His body's in the red as well. I might be able to pin him. I'm going to try going for a pin and see what happens. Nope. I love they have a WWE referee shirt. They wouldn't have that. It'd just be some dude in like the Indie Circuits t-shirt. They should have changed the ref's clothes for that. So annoying. He's standing. Almost got him where we want him. Oh, I'm tired. I didn't see that. That really messed me. Got him. Quick it up, big player. I actually probably could have done that. I did my own custom attire. That should be count number one. He's too hurt. Really, bro? option that's a signature move I'm up what the hell is going on had to mash it hey red Whenever they're about to be stunned, they usually get a buff. No reversal option. That's so annoying. Oh, damn. What a move. I might have resiliency. I got the rope break. That was close. She actually saw the rope break. Oh, I hate that shift. I'm always looking up and they shift the, the, the button. No reversal. There you go. That time I got it. All right, let's see if we can finish him. That's it. Trent is gone. I wonder if we, the, this whole sto storyline is going to be us in the UK. Or if it's just strictly indie circuits. We're just jumping from indie circuit to indie circuit. Wait, why is Tavish in his ring gear? What is going on? Still no stories. We're still mid-story. So it's, yeah. Ha! <laughs> 
Another win. Way to go. Thanks, but why are you wearing your old wrestling attire? Let me guess. Leeds. The fans at the bar wanted We're pictures with you in it. No. That's not a bad idea. Could make some extra bread. Anyway, it turns out the bloke you were supposed to face got hurt in his last match and can't compete in the finals. So, yours truly volunteered to fill in. Seriously? Well, we couldn't send the fans home without a tournament winner now, could we? Besides, some of them are my mates now. Jimmy's getting married next month, and he asked me to perform the ceremony. Congrats. So what do you say? You versus me, British rules, may the best fully rested, slightly buzzed man win. All right. Let's do this. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to take out our mentor. I had a feeling, because like every time we'd see him in, uh, in his picture, we saw the profile picture he had of him currently. It should have been, I don't know. It'd be one thing if it was an old one. I can imagine it not being that bad, Darren. Like, the UK isn't a large country, like, mass-wise. Oh, shit. So, I can imagine you could probably drive from, like, Stonehenge to Scotland in, like, what, like, 10 hours? That's all we needed. He's already in the red, bro. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, yeah. Think about Canada, though, bro. We're, like, the second largest country in the world behind... Uh, behind uh, Russia, just in terms of mass. What is going, why is it missing? That should be good. He won't kick out the first one. Then they usually make it a little bit harder. Oh, wow. I was wrong. Are they saying fight forever? Isn't that a WCW reference? Try and get the pin out of that. Is it really? Well, look at me go guessing right. Oh, whoa. Oh, I thought I got the reversal. Why is the reversals not timing right? It's really fucking annoying. Let's try that. I'm trying to save the finisher.
Oh, man. Can you imagine we finished the deal right there? I don't think it's enough. There you go. Back to fucking back, bro. I mean, I was going to say, if he attacked me, that wouldn't make any sense. We're on the indie circuit here in the UK. We're in fucking Leeds, for God's sake. You think you're going to have a heel turn? It's just dudes rest wrestling it out. Anyway. I really hope he's not leading me along. Sorry, that was dumb. Ah, oh, boy. Man, I hate that it like it locks in at this this loading screen. All right, a lot to unpack. Oh my god, it's chosen. I did not wait. Why is Drew in the airport? Why is Drew here? This is... Why is Tom here? Why is everyone in the airport? Hey, I'm actually happy to run into you. WWE's having me cut together a greatest WWE Rise and Falls video package featuring you, which I kind of feel bad about. I've got all your footage from your so-called fall, but if you get Cat to get some shots of you dominating your next match... I can try and make it into a rise and fall and rise package. All right. I mean, I've had Yorkshire pudding many times. It's it's funny because it's not really pudding, is it? It's like a, a, a baked item. <laughs> Why is it called that? Oh, now where are we? This is uh, This is Mexico, isn't it? I think this is the Mexican circuit. We fought these. I mean, I don't know if we fought El, El Ordinario, the Ordinary, and El Mago Jr. This was from the last game, wasn't it? Cause I remember I busted out the fanny. Why? Why are they spamming right now? Why are they after me only? This is this is racist. Like I thought this was a trip threat. Bad call, now he's gonna be, they're both gonna be after me. Get the hell out of my face. was sick. Where is he going? Get out of here with that big player. Finally they're starting to get up slowly. Oh yeah, bonker. Do a move. Oh, I had to do it before El Mago Jr. did that. Did I miss? I'd like to think I'm winning this, this match so far. I'm in daze mode. Do not pin him. Oh, God. Kick out Ma Ordinario. Oh, he's done. <laughs> that was kind of beautiful. Ah! Dude, that's not cool. I tried to I thought he was targeting the other guy. 
Let's cam out. It's too early. They're not damaging enough. Am I doing a move? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing a move. Wait, why am I hurt now? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I missed it. I was waiting for it too and I messed it up. We're just trading blows. El Mago's probably the most likely to be uh, pinned just because he's uh, got... Oh, man. Oh, I hate that. Bullshit! That is bullshit! I was meleeing him, bro. Ah! I reversed it again! Apparently nothing's working right now. What was that? It was really dumb. Triple threats are always so sketchy, because you like there's never an even amount of people competing. They're all just fighting each other. Oh, see, like, how did he do that? Now I gotta switch to Ordinario. I'm gonna go for the pin, he's pretty hurt. No, too soon, too soon, Junior. Oh, how did I miss the baseball slide? He's right the fuck there. And somehow I missed, even though I would've hit him dead on. Who's bringing in what? Hit him! Oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh shit, back call. Nice move, dipshit. There you go, it's it! Pin him! Let's go, ref, count it! Oh, he's out! Wow! This is an insane match. Let's go. Boy, I'd hit Ordinaria with my Siggy. Let's go. High risk, high reward, big players. Kobe. Watch this shit. Yes, that's it for ordinary boy. The one, the ordinary. That's it. Lock it and key, baby. <sighs> I love it, man. These are cool. I've always liked these kind of matches. Keeps the variety up. So that's why they have this next se segment in the... Uh, that's why they have this next segment in, um, in the airport. Because you're constantly flying to different destinations. That's the only way it can make sense. So, that's pretty cool. Okay. Good match. Adam Pierce has another challenge. Again, why are you here, Adam? Hey, I've noticed you've been making quite a name for yourself out there. As someone who came up outside of WWE, I respect the hustle. And if you're trying to get attention, 
might want to consider spicing up your matches. In fact, I have a friend who wants to have a steel cage match at their next event. If you're interested, I can make a call. All right, steel cage. I've already done a couple of those, but it's always fun to do them. Kyle Slickman at BC Dub. Bro, how are those headphones staying on your head? There's no way. I love that. BCW back. Kyle Slickman. No way I'm losing to this douche with razors on. <laughs> you know what he looks like? What's his name? Oh, God. He's kicking my ass, though. He's not that tall. I'm like towering over him and my, my, my superstar is six feet. What does he look like? What's that dude's name? He's like, he's like super misogynist and he's got a podcast. Andrew Tate. This guy looks like Andrew Tate right now. Taking on Andrew Tate. short that like I almost missed him with that almost got my signature is he still in jail oh what boo there you go it's not going to be enough. Oh, that little hop over cheese. I mean, it can't be comfortable to wrestle in what he's wrestling in. What did his brother do? Oh, big old splash. Got out of that. Let's get him up. Now's my chance. Go, go, go. Oh my god, I have to win by pin or fall or submission. It's going up! Oh! <laughs> what a way to finish it! I honestly was trying to escape and then I realized my objective was to pin or submit. That was so dope. That was epic. So we're in the high school gym. I think you unlock the gym. Once you finish the storyline, you actually unlock all these, like, arenas. I'm not sure, though. That was sweet. Dude, the top of the... I just annihilated Andrew Tate right there. <laughs> I turned him into a tater tot. Oh, man. Oh, I, I knew what Tate got arrested for. I didn't really... I mean, well... Andrew Tate. I didn't realize his brother was involved was involved with that. Dude's fucked up. The annoying what's what's scary is there are people who actually idolize that kind of person. Anyway, so up next we got Drew Mack, but who else is in the 
Socials. There's a couple. Dom Mysterio. Let's go to the attribute upgrades. We might have enough for one. We do. We have 48. We might have enough for two. We're just shy of getting a second update. At least on this level. I could do these two. Oh, it won't be enough, will it? Well, it might be. I might be able to do resilience. And then it's 22, hey? Ain't that how it always works? Wait. Oh, no, no, no. That works. Sorry, I'm, I'm right. I can do both of those. I think that makes sense. 93 overall with that money. So defense, so my reversals went up, my resilience also, so my, my durability, things like that. The last thing I'm going to upgrade is my, whatchamacallit. Anywho. Scrap Daddy AP is a fan of wrestling. Wherever it takes place, gotta say I'm impressed with some of the matches I've seen at BC Dub lately. Just won a grueling tournament in the UK, getting back on track. One match at a time, come back world tour. It's true, and even more impressive, Dan beat me to it. I got the footage to prove it. Super King of Bros. Honestly, it'd be cool to kind of team up with Riddle there. He might have lost the name, but he gained a title. Slade is the new Intercontinental Champ. New look, new name, new attitude, new champ, and new. This is your boy. This is Gabe, right? So he's the IC Champ. Not fooling anyone. Still same old Gabe. You're still the same old Danky 8000. Bitter, jealous, and back on the outside looking at it. Damn, that's some shade. So Dom, I'll, I always like to do the DM one first. Uh, let's see. Cat got me the footage. You look really impressive out there. Shawn Michaels may still call it a fall, but I think the WWE Universe will watch and see someone on the verge of a big comeback. I know you had it in you to work within a structure and with winning within a structure too. If you're going looking for if you're if you're looking for me, I'll be at a pub in my gear, going to charge money for pictures like you suggested. Good idea, mate. All right. Well, social feed or DMs, it doesn't matter. Let's just do what Tavish has to say. That was the first. I can now say a fan has asked me for an autograph while using an airport urinal. Weird. Also weird that you're DMing me. I was excited to try out the new phone. It's got cameras on both sides. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> anyway, people just have no shame anymore. You're not wrong. I can't believe you're not you're not stoked about getting asked for autographs. Must have been a big WCW fan. Huge. Even knew about the greatest unaired match of WCW history when I faced Triple H's French aristocrat persona, Jean-Paul Levesque. I guess it's floating around on some bootleg tapes. Can you imagine that? That's the one. That, yeah, I remember this. You can actually unlock uh, the Jean-Paul Levesque. Because, well, Paul Levesque's his real name, which is funny, but that's the French one. Do you remember when, and then he switched over to Hunter Hearst Helmsley, which, like, where he went by his actual, like, the three H's. And he was all, like, he would bow at people and... He was all, like, regal and whatnot. Like, you know what I mean? Like, royalty. Honored match with John Falk. Can you imagine it? I, I'm even bigger. I'm an even bigger WCW fan than the urinal, guys. So I can picture it perfectly. I can even hear the commentary in my head. That's how I know I mentored you right, lad. See, so yeah, this is how you get the Levesque. So this is young, young Triple H, where he would have been in his 20s. But I don't know how they're going to do that. Usually these optional missions, they kind of go either way. Hello, WCW, and welcome to what's sure to be a night that will definitely never be lost to history. As Tavish, one of WCW's brightest and most interpersonal... Oh, right. I'm playing... Oh, right. Sorry. I'm actually playing as Tavish. I was wondering why it felt different. I, I honestly wasn't even looking. But this is WC Dub, so this would have been, like, in the 90s. He gets set down to the floor. Like, 94, 5-ish, I think. He's taking this to I the might be floor wrong. Now. Power from the suplex. Double <laughs> underhook. Driven down with a power. Get my ass. Why is it an old man? Wouldn't he be a young man? It doesn't make sense. Never a good time for that to happen. Okay, H. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Shot after shot, then slip. This could do it. Kick out before the one count. Not enough pressure on the pin. Wow, he's he's kicking my ass, bro. I, everything I like, I think my guy's stats. I have to imagine it. So look at my hand glitching out. When's the when is the recovery happening? Gonna take a lot more than that. 
lot to keep this man down. Oh, what a right hook. Oh, come on. He's so slow. Is Tavish. I gotta think differently. It's a different kind of wrestling, but his strikes are gonna be stronger. Inside out. Oh, stop. Oh, perfect kick. Working the legs. This heel hook. Because doesn't WWE opponent, own the WCW everything. brand now, so they can Boom. actually, um, they can actually uh, use it and like same thing with like, uh, oh, what was WCW's like W or WrestleMania again? What was it called again? I I have it in my head, but I don't have it in my head. Oh man! Uh, jeez, I, I for some reason it's not it's it's eluding me. But yeah, didn't they reuse that name in their own pay-per-view? Starcade. Thank you, Starcade. Retaliation from John Paul. Punch lands. That was a new move, H. Maybe there's another one I'm thinking of. I know that WWE recently used one of WCW's pay-per-view names. as one of their newer ones. I'm getting my ass kicked though. He's just not as good. Something's about to go either. I gotta reverse this. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Whoa, hello. I don't care how much Madden you put on the floor, you are feeling the cement after that miss. Oh yeah, I was I watched Last of Us as well. It was fantastic. They did such a good job. I'm in worse shape. He'll probably reverse this, so make sure it's a stomp. There you go. No reversals, and he reversed it. It's always super annoying. Interesting you could charge up your signature now. You were never able to charge up. As, it was always like as it was. Come on, Tavs. Let's finish them. No reversals this time. I don't know if he did. We have another finisher in case we need to use it. We'll see if it gets the dub. Nope. Honestly, I probably should have hit him again with it. Oh, he got out of it, man. Do you think they're gonna go with like they're gonna go with like at like Last of Us 2 for season two? Or are they gonna do some time in between? Because they could do that. They could milk it a little bit because there was like four years. There was like four years of content, or sorry, there's four years of story they can add in or write in. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the rain. Oh, I hate that reversal. It's so easy to do. Very dangerous situation now. Noob move there, H. Oh. Oh, I dodged that one. Gets inside the ring. With a neck and a gun. What a combination. Seriously, like, I, I don't know about this. I'm in rough shape. H is finally in the red, but he keeps reversing stuff. It's 
stink face. Oh, I thought you were going to stink face him. Hey, Pies, what's up? That's it. Oh, God. That's it. I'm out. I have resiliency, though. Damn it, he's reversing so many things. Oh, I've got a, I've actually got brass knucks. Alright, I'm stunned out of here. But I don't want to get DQ'd. I think I have to win this. He is doing whatever possible to torture the knee. And an elbow. Oh, not, oh, it's not as powerful. I thought he was setting me up for another pedigree. Oh, God. That's dirty. Oh, my God. I can't waste that. I need that. Man, my reversals are trash. I'm just, I gotta get it. I gotta get it unlocked, guys. They've changed them though. They, they, the timing is different. And his torso continues to be targeted. That could be disrupting the flow there at this point. Count out may be imminent here. Really testing fate. I gotta get up. Off the top. Oh, this is my chance to reverse. I've got to reverse. No reversal option. Do you see that? I think that's it for me. I don't think I'm gonna win this. That's it. I couldn't do it, man. He's too good. I have to fight him again. Hello, WCW. That is so irritating. He's just not as good. He kept reversing any finisher I had. Like, it'd be different if I w if it was my superstar, but Tavish is... Like, look how damaged he is already. And Levesque is now dictating the pace. John Paul is executing everything he wants. No reversal option. See, not all moves have reversals like they used to. But see, he still gets the attack. He's so slow. So before I can attack him, he's already got a new, mo a new move on me. It's very tough. I'm just getting walked out here. Every pin is going to increase it. And then the fact that he misses sometimes, too. Down with the suplex. Down with the suplex, get up, come on, get down with the suplex. Lift them over right your head and slam them into the mat. Oh, ouch. oh, that's some weight coming down. Getting tossed around. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Oh, what a right hook. Take down there. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. He moved. See, like, why? I started attacking way sooner than that. Now I'm going to ruin my, my momentum with that. Right into the corner. There you go. Great counter. Okay. Oh, I should have canceled this. Because he's not stunned. If I were able to stun him. There you go. I'll try. Makes the cover. No, I don't think they will. WCW is out. It's like they might do a mode in one of their games, but they wouldn't do a WCW game. Uh, 
I'm so tired, I can't do anything about it. I gotta get my stamina back. Combination of shots there. Heavy knee strength. Oh, talking trash. The fire has been lit inside of Tavish. There's incredible impact with every maneuver Tavish delivers. How are they gonna hear after this match? He's struggling a bit here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes. Yeah, see, he's so he's, I'm already tired. I'm used to my stamina being higher, so it's messing me up. No reverse. I think reversals have to do with how much stamina you have as well. <laughs> Brock Lesnar should play hockey. Uh, oh, definitely. <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. What up, Barlow? It's going good, how are you? Using their boot. On the throat in the corner. I thought I reversed that. I thought I got the timing right off the bat. I don't think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. He's going for the pin. This could be it. He breaks the pin before a one count. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Another under hook. Let's try the pin. It's not going to be enough. We'll try the finisher. Ah! He reverses them all the time. I got to reverse this pedigree. Yep. Oh, thanks, Barlow. Hope the move goes well, bro. Look, I can't even run. I'm so tired. Oh, look how quickly that is. Such a small window. But that's probably because his reversals aren't that good. See, I'm red before he is. This is a tough match. Hey, Abdul, what's up? Dirty move paybacks. Low blow, poison, missed. Can be activated by pressing when prompted. Low blow can be used in the kneeling position. That totally messed me up by telling me that. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Here we go. No reversal. That's got to be the money right there. I'm gonna go on this side of him. Oh uh, damn, he might get a. He might get. Oh, that's so infuriating, guys. That literally is what. That's gonna mess it up. I should have pulled him because it changes the buff. What? He's already tired. I can't even move him. There, waste it off. Now I just gotta stomp him. See, now it's over. That that mistake. I might be able to reverse it. Yep. So slow, he gets so tired. All right, let's try and get the pin here. If I can hit this, it's game over if I can hit this. I think so. That might be it. Finally, bro. What a pain in the ass. Here is your winner, Tavis. You can't say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. It's hard to say, guys, honestly. Or, sorry, Big Dog, I mean. Uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll answer Big Dog first. Uh, 2, 2K23 is similar to 22. This one has a more linear, more interesting storyline. It's less unorganized than 22's. But 22's is going to be, you're probably going to spend more time on it. Does that make sense? So, I mean, I'm not sure. People are saying, like, to do 100% of everything, it's about 12 to 14 hours. But they have a unique story for each male and female wrestler this time around. So, I, I can't really 100% recommend anything until I'm finished. But, um, there's a thought for that. As for Gaz, you can only play it early if you get the Deluxe Edition or higher. Pre-ordering has nothing to do with it. 
Um, so if you if you want to take advantage of early access, you should get it as soon as possible. But honestly, it's Wednesday. We're towards the end of Wednesday. I mean, if you're in the UK, it's probably Thursday. You're better off just waiting the day. So, you know what I mean? At that point, the early access. Yes, you get other things with it, but a big part of that was early access. So, just my two cents there. Heck of a match, right? <laughs> How did you know? It took me a hot second to get through it. It but... took you having the performance of your lifetime, but you got the W. Damn right I did. <laughs> it's all got me thinking. What if you and I had tagged together against Jean-Paul Levesque and another legendary superstar like British Bulldog? I can you imagine that could be fun. what we could have done together? I can certainly try to. Alright, so that's next for us. Alright, so another imagination match. Imagination. Imagination. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> oh, what up, Shannon? Hey, Sam. How's it going? Welcome back to WCW, everyone. Halloween Havoc. Be described as a dream match between the unlikeliest of tag team mega. What a dick! On one side of the All right, Paul. Got John Paul Levesque, oh, he double whammyed me. He's okay. He's got the right to taunt me. The Union Jack facing off against the always outspoken Tavish and his mystery partner, who I can't seem to place. Also, why, are we why did it do that? I didn't switch. Um, what's happening? Don't overthink Dude, that's hot garbage. Embrace the chaos. I reversed that too. Fuck you, man. I hate that shit. Interesting seeing the British Bulldog with the dreads. With the braids, rather, not the dreads. Oh, let's go. We're going flying. Oh, let's go. I don't know, Shannon. I don't really have that answer. I haven't finished all the modes and everything, so I, I can't really tell you just yet. People ask me too soon if it's better. It's like saying, oh, rate it out of 10. I'm only like two chapters in. It's like the third chapter. He switches it back around. And we just saw some serious offense. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's bad. I gotta mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it. No! Oh, I cheesed the system a little. I did. Now he's been put on the defensive. Right now he's thinking one of two things, Cole. I need to get out of here. Oh, I'm going to answer this call and pay him back. Oh, my Lord. Caught with a crow's Oh. Springboard. Oh, let's go. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. This one's harder to reverse. Up and over. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, 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 oh. cancel, cancel, cancel. Destruction under the ring. Come on, come on. Oh, he got me. Really? You can disrespect me like that. Oh, I hate that. There's such a pain in the ass. Let's try it. He's taunting me. Middle finger. Oh, not ready yet. Not ready yet. I knew he was going to do that. Stupid ass chant. That's the downside with those moves. Like he basically takes like 13 years to. The ankle, the sailing the joints of the leg. What the hell? He spawned. How was I supposed to know? I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away. I reversed that. Dude, come on with the timing. Oh, it feels like you're nailing the timing, but you're just, I think, off by a millisecond. Oh. I could have possum attacked. Oh, I didn't get out of it. Got it. I was ready for that one. Oh, man. Homeboy's reversing everything in his dog. Pun intended. He skirts around it. No. 
You're not going to do that. There you go. H is gone. Quick. Get him up. Let's go. No whammies. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Oh, man. What? I don't buy that. This is in total disbelief right now. I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Oh, they always reverse. They go. How this one is still going on. German suplex. Oh, Swanton. Stomping a mud hole on him. Okay. He's so much slower. I don't like using Tavish, bro. Get ready for the reversal. It didn't let me that time. No reversal option. These are getting challenging, these matches. Oh, raking the nose and the eye. Punching the face. That's not right. Oh. I kind of need H to tag in what's his dink. Tagging in the British Bulldog because no reversal option. Oh no! Oh, stun gun. He's got the pin. Doubt. Too soon for that. He gets the kick out after the one. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. I need me to leave. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Like, why is it wayward missing like that? And that's the tag to British Bulldog. Gets the tag. Fine with me. Wow. Why? See, like, why are you doing that move? But he still gets first move. No, I haven't done the showcase yet. Have you seen me do the showcase? This is only the second day with the game. Grab people in this one. That's dumb. Can you not do that anymore? What's going on? All the moves I'm doing. Why? Man, it's so fucking annoying. It's like moves don't come out and the ones you want to do aren't doing anything. It's like, what's the point? In terms of like gameplay mechanic, I wouldn't say this is an improvement. I'd say it's actually more got more issues. It's just mad annoying. It's like stuff that should be working. Like he'll do a random backflip instead of like actually doing a, a strike of a guy in front of him. It gets confused. He should have been though, Mando. He should have been. That was. Get up, man. Get up while he's doing that. Like, they reverse absolutely everything. It's annoying. Oh, God. Reversal, 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 reversal. That's all it is. To main 
maintain pressure. Oh, no. Get ready. Got it. I remembered the timing of this. Very quick timing. See, all that reversal. I think that might have been it. Pin him. Let's go. Come on. I don't know, though. No, he's got too much energy. He's so stacked. He's still stunned. Come on. That's got to be it. Come on. No, no rope break. Please, no rope break. Oh, he's out. Dude, this is insane. Missed it. Like, why is this one such a, like, there's like a difficulty spike here. Got him with a Poston pin. Oh, it didn't do anything, though. But it was basically a reversal, so. He's cut open. Or at least he was stunned or something. Hey, Bixa, what's good? Quick, do it now. He can't reverse it. He's stunned. That's got to be it, man. There's no way. There's no way. Count it. Man, that was a struggle boss, man. Like, Levesque was just on it. I mean, I know, I mean, I guess it's kind of like his prime. Not really his prime. Like, I, I mean, I feel like Triple H is where he really garnered his proper success, obviously. But, like, bruh. That one took a hot second, didn't it? At least we got the dub. There might, there still might, the storyline might still be going. Like, there might be one more mission. You see what I'm saying, bro? It's pretty wild. Oh, no, that's it. All right, we finally got him. All right, Jumac. I think there's still that one. What's our... Okay, we don't have enough for another stat line. The socials mark for life. Calling all WCW fans. Y'all remember Real Tavish ran into, ran into him in an airport bathroom. Dude asked me if I wanted an autograph while I was standing at the urinal. Some people have no shame. Oh, he flipped it around. Yikes. All right, let's talk to Dom then. Raise your hand if you feel incredibly blessed to be in the WWE. That, what's with the picture? Are you guys looking at the picture? It looks like someone photoshopped his face. Like, are you guys looking at his picture? Look at Dom's picture. It looks like someone photoshopped his face onto somebody else's body. What is going on with that? Something's wrong. <laughs> Bless is right. Raise your hand if you think Dom never had to pay his dues like Dan, who's still paying his dues. He doesn't even know. If you think Dom never had to pay his dues like Dan, who's still paying his dues, he doesn't even... Yeah, agree with Mark. Never too late to make a proper dues payment, Dom. Think you can handle in any match at BC Dub against yours truly? Dom works harder than anyone in the business. Check your facts. Man, no disrespect, Ray. Just calling out shortcuts when I see them. If Dom's in, you're invited to come watch. Damn right I'm in. <laughs> Seriously, it looks so weird. Like, are you guys seeing Dom's picture? They need to take another one. I don't know. Is he supposed to be wearing a hood? Like, what's going on? Or is that his hair? It still looks weird. I don't know. I'll be there, too, in the ring. Making a tag match. Done. Gonna be the biggest WCW match of all. There's Baron. The green highlighter. All right, so who who am I tagging with? Who wait is it? A, wait, it says it's a tag match, but is it a tag match? Do I is it a handicap tag, or just a handicap? Two v one. I don't know what they're getting at here, but no, no. I, oh, I'm with I'm with Cole Quinn. Let's go. 
the two Quins up in the business. Get that garbage out of here. I really like the 2K19 storyline. I thought it was really good. And it was a lot of fun. It was like interactive. But you know what's interesting is when you think about it, NBA 2K19 as well was also doing great numbers. Like, I like that was one of my favorite stories too. So the writers of those games were put in the sauce. Kobe! Ah, oh, the reversal. Oh, man, Colquinn's getting a table out. About to have family dinner out here. As Ray Ray bashes him with it. Mash it. They got to mash. Look at all these reversals. He's hyping the crowd up. Big mistake, pal. One bad bumper sticker. Oh, he got out of it. No whammies available. I don't want to waste it. I want to get my signature. What? Oh, right. It's a running. Wait, I have to run. I was like wondering why my signature wasn't working. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, it's embarrassing. Ray, no. I didn't mean it. Man, I'm stunned. This bad. Cole, don't, don't do anything stupid out there, big player. Reverse it. Nice. I'll be along shortly. Remember that early recovery cheese? Oh, I just kicked him. Did it count it? It did. I want to do something sick. Uh oh, he's gonna hit me. No, don't let him get up. I missed it. I want to get Ray on there and then I'm going top. I'm going top. Come on, Ray Ray. Whoops. Wait, we can do this. Hold on. Check this. Check this. It's going to work. Oh, it didn't work. Ah! Oh! Come on, Ray. Over here, please. Here we go, baby! life on the line. I'm out here working. Get in, get in, get in. Miss me. Spear! Let's go! Hit him! He might get the rope breezy. Game over. That's how you get a dub in BC dub. <laughs> I was sick. I put Ray Ray through the table. That was awesome. Oh, baby, that was so good. <laughs> and then I just spear his son, like father, like son.
They're both broken, battered, beaten. That was fun. So not impressed. Little Dom just leaned on his daddy as a security blanket. Got to agree. Time to take the training wheels off, Dom. Pot calling the kettle black. No. Tavish has been cleaning up your mess like an overgrown nanny. You going to let your dad fight your battles on social too? Enough talk. Let's sell this one one-on-one. -on -one. Anywhere, anytime. Except to be a guest because you can't cut it here. <laughs> Good one. How about I, a one-on-one -on -one, no DQ match at the next LAW event? Lights will just be as bright. I promise. See you there. All right. LA dub. Isn't that the Los Angeles wrestling? Isn't that what they did with that? I don't know. So you could say we laying down the law. They say mano y mano, but. Two K twenty was hot garbage. I didn't like it at all. I think everyone kind of knew that storyline was really cringe. It was. It wasn't written well. They they don't let you bail out of it anymore. I've noticed. They changed that. That's not fair. I had reversed it and I never got a chance to. It's kind of annoying. I missed that too. I was even ready. See, like, why? See that? I reversed it, but he still gets the upper hand just the way it responds. I slid across the floor. Go ahead. What are you getting? Uh-oh. I'm toast. What an idiot. You had upper hand? Were you tired from that running? All right, Damo, get in here, big player. Go ahead, bring your chair. Let's chuck him into that. Bye bye. that I knew he was gonna do that I shouldn't have done that move because he was close to being stunned and they, they always get like a, a stun buff Remove the turnbuckle. Oh, baby. Oh, God. Could have been bad. That's not how you use a kendo stick. That's how you use a kendo stick. Why are you taunting? Oh, he's getting me. I can't. I gotta reverse this.
All right, let's get him with a Hurricane Rana. No. Light throw. Oh, I thought I had one. I swear I had a finisher. Oh, no, I think it's just top rope. I swear I had a finisher. That's okay. Superplex will do. Ah, oh, see, that's what I was worried about, man. I was trying to set up the 619, I think. Damn it. I was hoping to get that Kendo. Let's try pinning. Oh, they're spamming, bro. I... And there's no reversal off. See that? They're just letting you spam, and I can't see with the ref in the way. I needed to do that. Damn, he's kicking my... It's, it's just so back and forth. That was a bad call. It gets confused sometimes when they block. Oh, no. Oh! Yeah, chaotic it does, unfortunately. There's, in some ways, it's... There you go, I hit him that time, finally. In a lot of ways, it's actually not as smooth as 2K22. Just because it, it's trying to, it tried to improve on them. The, the issues, it made certain things more fluid, but like there's still a lot of things that weren't. I don't know, bro. There's only so much they can do, and you, it, it's, it's, you know, they made that apparent. You can tell. It's, it's just not, not where we came from. Like, a lot of, like, you'll, t you'll be, like, standing if they both go for moves slightly at the wrong, if he's slightly off, if you're not lining it up perfectly, you'll just, you'll just hit air, even though normally you would have. So, it's the way she goes. All right, that story is finally done. I think that just leaves the Drew McIntyre story. Got to give credit to Dom. He didn't have to go comp compete in the Indies, but he did. And he looked like he belonged. Take back everything I said, Humboldt. Can't believe it, but I'm green with Mark for life yet again. All right, so no DM stories, nothing. No, we're all done. All right, let's just go to the story progress and see where we're sitting in this chapter. So the only thing left in this section is biting up more than you can chew. I've already done five storylines and challenges. Uh, so yeah, we'll do biting off claim more than you can chew. Then we'll hit up with the apex. So there's still three more of these main missions. So let's go with Drewby. Well, if it isn't the most controversial man in wrestling. You're not following me now. 
Are ya? His Scottish accent is kind of gone, isn't it? <laughs> I could say the same to you. Shouldn't your boot be making contact with someone's face right about now? Claymore is taking a little break to recharge. I'm heading home for a few weeks to see my family. I'm actually heading the same way. Hardly with the similarities between us end. I respect you're doing things on your own terms. I've been there. But if you want to be the top dog, you're gonna have to come back to WWE to face the best. Are you ready? The better question... Is WWE ready for me? I knew I liked you, mate. You said you're heading my way. How about a sparring session when we get there? I'm sure we could both learn a thing or two from each other. Just kidding. He sounds pretty Scottish. I mean, it, it, it's not as intense, but... Count me in. British rules? I want to give you a fighting chance. Oh. British rules? No problem. That's just my kind of match. Isn't Drew normally supposed to be like... Um, a bit like... Is he supposed to be a... Uh... A heel in most circumstances? You're as charming as an eel, Mr. McIntyre. <laughs> oh, there's no one here. A lot of drop kicks to the corner. Can I lift him? This will be a true... T oh, wait, no. Oh, we got out of that. There's definitely less opportunities to reverse. Strongman press. Oh, I almost got him with the possum attack. Too soon, Drew. I don't think that's going to be enough, but you never know because it's best uh, two of three. No, it's too soon. He's stronger than your average bear, so you got to remember that. Some of these guys are going to take a little bit more pounding. That little whoop. That was like the first time I used the dodge like that to my advantage. I gotta do that more often. Because you don't have to use the... Uh... I don't think it's enough. Might as well if you can. If you can muster a pin like that, do it because it's basically like a reversal and it wears them down. <laughs> what the hell was that? Come on, big player. Get up. Big old DDT. Oh, neck breaker. I'm not allowed to leave, so there's nothing I can do about that. I'll just taunt. Get my buff up. Negate him. Swoop to the crowd that isn't here. I need him to get up, so that's the thing. I got a double buff, but... Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it, so I'll just do stuff. Come on, man. Get in here. Okay, let's get him with a spear. Priest mode. Alright, that should do count number one. But he's still in the orange. He's not red yet. One, 
So that should get me the fall. That's it. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Oh, big old crunchy crunch, bro. That was a Nestle crunch. Oops, I forget. Wait for it. See, if you wait until they get up, you can kind of cheese it. So, like, you're hitting him and they can't reverse it because he's in the middle of that. Oh, this is a terrible looking one. Oh, God. You pause it there. <laughs> oh, it's a brutal one. Honestly, we would have had to call the police in a minute because of that one. Drew did not consent. I'm a bit injured right now. <laughs> Double flushers. Oh, he's stunned. Let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Get him up. Get him out. Get him. Get up. There, I had, to, I had to make sure while he was stunned. I don't know if it's enough to take him down, but it's worth a try. It was. That was good. That was good. Uh, good foresight. You know, I, I recognized it. Took him out. Took him to dinner. Took him out to dinner. Forkety, forkety. <laughs> wee little drink. Take a wee little drink. <laughs> that's that's when I, in order to do a Scottish accent, that's that's what you say. Wee little drink. <laughs> uh. All right, that was a quick one. I it was only a single. All right, Fan is in here. Oh, she's got the Austin. Dude, is, are we gonna do like an Austin match? Are you on vacation from WWE too? Oh, oops, sorry, awkward, totally forgot. Wait, are you traveling to make it to the LAW show tonight? Joaquin Wild told me he's on it and his opponent pulled out last minute. It'd be pretty bold to fill in and take a last minute flight. You're going to be so tired and you already look pretty exhausted. No offense. Sleepy Dan, damn, face Joaquin Wild at law. So now I'm doing another like eight hour flight from the UK back to LA. That's no, that's longer than that. That'd be like a nine hour flight. How fun with that? Maybe longer. That was dumb. So I, my legs are a little sore and I, I lost a bit. Nothing I can't handle, though, big players. Now we're on the same playing field, sort of. Oh, he caught me. I was going for the jump. Those sunset flip power bombs are sick. Wait till she says three. Wait for it. Listen for three. It's hilarious. Listen, guys. Oh, wait, no. She, this is a different actor. Never mind. Three. Different voice actor. Let's debuff him. Buff us, but debuff him. Idiot. Oh, I missed. How does that happen? Get real. Dude, give me a break with that corkscrew elbow. Got him. I don't think it's enough, but you never know because he is just kind of a jobber. No disrespect, Joaquin. Stating the facts. Whoa. 
what a noob! He shouldn't have taunted. He would have gotten out of that, but... When they're blocking, that's the move that it defaults to. Re. Got him. Hey, I love that. Why bother? Re. Come on, walk. You should be in here. Dance it on him. That's it. All right, let's see. Got bags are packed. Airplane, or airplane tickets are there. Bring him to the airport. Send him home. This is a happening. Yes. All right. Sorry. I think we can finally, I think, well, this wasn't a, this, was it a challenge or was it a side? I don't remember if this was a challenge. No, fan gave me a uh, side mission. It was, sorry, it was just a challenge mission. So that'll be it for that. We'll get the stat boost. I should be able to use my attribute upgrades now. I should have enough, but I am not sure. We do not know. We do not care. Three. Oh boy. Oh boy. Tight flight and fight night. Oh, Robin Ray has another one for me. Just out of curiosity, where are we sitting for story? Oh, there's not many. Carry on my wayward suitcase. So really, it's we have that and then we have two sides and then three mains. So we're really gonna be on just with the mains. So we're making good good time. Uh, 44 overall, what did I say I wanted? At this point, we're at the eight, so I might as well boost this. Man, I'm just shy too, hey? If I do defense, it's not quite enough. But it will be fairly soon. I think I might do resilience 8. Just get all the mains up to an 8. And that's then at this point, we can just start bringing everything else up. 94 overall. Thanks for stepping in last minute, Dan. Our fans appreciate it and are certainly impressed. My pleasure. Very impressive stuff in the ring. I'm excited to see what you can do back in WWE. If you want to return, it's up to you. Sky's the limit. Thanks, Drew. The, the pound all right well let's go see what robin ray has it's just a single match challenge there's an indie wrestler who works airport security as his day job he keeps randomly checking my luggage because he thinks he can annoy me into using my connections to get him a high profile match Ugh. problem is he's right can you please give him a match so he'll stop pulling me for screening Feel free to really let loose on this jerk. The menace of the airport security. Dude, can we please have a match in airport? Like, in the airport? They should do a special, like... Um, they should do a special uh, thing. Like, a, a special arena at the airport. Oh, come on. His name is Brute Force. But I guess if he's trying to get himself a match... I love that snap, that snapmare there. Or rolling neck break or whatever they call that. Not a snapmare, sorry. It would have been cool though if you're at like airport security and it's just basically like a backstage brawl with the head of security. Damn, we crushed him. An American Airlines rules. Yes, asshole. Yeah. 
It's no DQ, so I can do whatever I want. No, it's like takes place on an airplane. There'd be no room. Crammed in there like sardines. Missed opportunity, man. I really wish they'd done like something at an airport or like on the strip where they load like the luggage on the plane. That would have been litty. I'm gonna grab me a kendo. Come here, bitch. Oh, you're gonna wait me out. I see how it is. Mexican standoff up in here. All right, I'll get some distance. Pick it up. Laying down the law. And yes, that was a pun. that filth out of here big player I grabbed his tush nice cake bro not even my birthday I love the crunch sound of that it's absolutely a brutal oh I missed that's embarrassing this guy's just talking smack it's like you had to bring that bottle of water in didn't you <laughs> Brought that bottle of water in, bitch. That was over a hundred milliliters. <laughs> Damn, he got spiced, bro. There's no other way of putting it. <laughs> I said one carry on and one personal item, not two. <laughs> such a dumb storyline like this is literally just a filler match it has nothing to do with it but it gives you attribute boost and if i can get any advantage i can honestly that match alone is going to give me enough of a boost and an attribute boost to upgrade the next tier i can do it so i can bring something to a nine i might go back down to my uh my running and grappling and i'll do see now we're now all we can do is the mission i think oh there is a social feed to dm it's probably from her uh, you totally say me airport security is painful enough as it is and after you beat him like that I doubt he'll be bothering me for more matches Love it All right, so like I said we have enough so I'm gonna put it into aerial and running Actually, let me just look at this Honestly, I think it makes more sense to increase things like this because if you look a lot of these are already at 99 So bringing it up is gonna bring it to a 101 my running offense is something I would like to improve on. But think about it. In terms of dollar value, it makes more sense to increase stuff like this. You know what I mean? Because it's lower overall. I already have a boost there. So maybe I should upgrade it last. You know, upgrade your grapple reverse. I think that's probably what I'll do. My body dur durability is in good shape. So, you know what? I'm going to do grappling up to this number. I think that makes the most sense. I got to be smart here. I, th I should probably do the running after. All right, let's take a look at our story progress. I think that's only a few. Yeah, three missions, three story missions, and two sideies. So we're making good progress. Actually, we're making amazing progress, considering we're only, like, two hours in. But these these story missions usually take longer. Chosen, what are you doing here? The VIP runs was closed. Broken pipe or something. I can't believe I have to wait down here with uh, everyone. Sorry to hear about your it's lounge Japanese. Issue, but I meant, what are you doing here at the airport? Oh. I've been on the road promoting Pro Wrestling Japan's upcoming Apex Tournament. It's going to be the biggest one ever. For the first time, it's going to include WWE superstars who previously competed in Japan. And me, of course. Interesting. You know, I'm on a bit of a comeback tour myself, and I'm a former WWE superstar who previously competed in Japan. Are there any spots left in the tournament? You're still wrestling? I thought you walked here at the airport now. I was going to see if you could get that pipe fixed for me. You look like a prama. No, I'm wrestling. And I'd love to get in the tournament if you can pull some strings. Hmm. There is one spot left. I can get you in a qualified match if you do something for me first. <sighs> this fix better not be about yeah. the broken pipe. I need you to say Chosen is the greatest wrestler in the world. Even better than the so-called Lock. Do that? And you would have the last spot in the Apex tournament. Bruh. <sighs> my desire to be in this tournament slightly outweighs my pride and dignity. 
I'll do it. Great. Whenever you're ready. You don't usually see Japanese <sighs> luchadors, Chosen do you? is the greatest wrestler in the world. He is better than I ever was or ever will be. Say something else. And act like you mean it. Every wrestler on the planet should retire immediately because no one will ever compare to Chosen. We good now. Almost. Explain what would happen if you face Chosen in the Apex tournament. I'll lose. You know, just to say for that. my own self confidence. <sighs> okay. If I'm unlucky enough to face Chosen, he will easily defeat me in mere seconds. Again, Chosen is the best. Okay, I'm done. Great. My social account's been on fire lately. But this is going to put it over the top. My fans, the chosen ones, are going to love hearing you say all that. What do you mean? Oh, that wasn't just for my self-confidence. I recorded what you said on my phone so I could post it. The entire world needs to hear you say chosen is the greatest. <sighs> You're actually the worst. Sorry, I already stopped recording. Can't take back what you said. Good luck in the qualifying match. Don't blow it. Oh, man. All right, Apex Tournament, we're going to get the Jap Japan Drome, Japan Hall, and Men Shinsuke Jacket. Cool. All right, major storyline incoming, big players. It's because he's not real. He's He's been made for this game, Chosen. They always have, like, uh, generic wrestlers that they create for story purposes. El Ordinario competing here. So not yet. It's the tournament. I hate when they get that just a little block and then they're just they're off to, really Then they're off to the races Damn I'm missing my mark like crazy guys Dude, I reversed! Oh my god, I'm getting sick of getting my grapes crushed out here. It's like, just get reverse something for crying out loud. Everything's being hit! It's such bullshit. No reversal. I'm just sitting here taking my licks. I had to do that. I couldn't even get on my feet! Is there a count out on this one? Yes. I'm gonna bring him over here because this looks like hardwood floor and I think it'd be fun. Oh, he got out of it. What the fuck? I took too long. I hate the lack of reversal opportunities. It's like... The spotlight's having trouble. That guy's gonna get fired. That was on me. I was just off. Oh, he's kicking my ass. Guys. It's weird. It's like sometimes they just go on like these like beast streaks. Like, I barely touched him. I'm gonna get eliminated by this ordinary guy. The dude's name is The Ordinary. Finally. I was, see, and then he reverses. Come on, bro. They're just taking the piss now. This is why you don't play on Legend. It's just annoying. Like, They just reverse everything for the sake of it. Like, this is on hard right now. So. I missed it again. Oh, my God. My timing is off. Guys, I have yet to get anything going. I almost got him with... I could have got him with a possum pin. Yes, go up high. Those ones are easier to reverse. It wouldn't let me. Well, there's nothing I can do about this, guys. He can He's wasting his time taunting when he should be wasting... He should be pinning me. He should be going for moves. Because they're unreversible right now. I have yet to... Re Look, I, I, he's been sweeping me. This might have to be a, a, a redo. Look, I can't even reverse it. This is brutal. Come on, man. I need my signature, so there's no point in wasting that. 
My God, let's get a taunt. Get a get a momentum booster. Hey, ref, I need you out the way. There you go. Finally, we're dropping some hints here. There's only so many times you can take an L. And he reversed it. Dude, he's reversing everything. This is stupid. There, reverse his finisher. One of them. I remember reversing finishers would give you a free finisher. It's not. It doesn't do that anymore. Start to drop him. But he's also quite weak, so it's like... So he's pretty easy to damage. Trying it again. He might get the rope break. I'm a little close. Wow. He rocked me the whole match, and I just got a few hits on him. He's toast. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Clap. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, guys, sorry about that rubbish match by, on my part. Still got the dub, though. Just a few moves is all I needed. But man, he was reversing the everything. The tournament is finally here. How are you feeling? I got my fanny on. I'm good. A bit jet lagged from the flight. But I'm sure once the bell rings, the adrenaline will take over and I'll be fine. Why is this tournament so important to you? This is a high profile event where a successful showing would go a long way to rebuild my image. And of course, I wouldn't mind beating a few current WWE superstars in the process. Got it. So this is the part where you explain the format of the tournament. You really need to start doing your research. The tournament's participants are split into two groups. Each group's wrestlers face off in round-robin singles matches. Wins are worth two points, draws one, and losses, zero. The winners of the two groups face each other at the Japan Dome to determine the tournament champion. And that's a big deal? Yes. I've competed there a handful of times earlier in my career, but only in opening matches. The final of the Apex Tournament will be the main event at the Dome. So yeah, I'd say that's a big deal. Alright. So are we going to go to like another... Or is it going to be LAW again? Or or are we actually competing in Japan now? Are we act, Like I saw that they were mentioning the Dome, but like... Alright, we're actually in Japan now. Sweet. And it's again Paragon J. Pierce... I haven't seen that move yet. Oh, that would hurt your back. I don't really have an answer for you, Zay. It's too early. I don't like giving a rating before I actually played, you know, as, um, enough of it. It's not really fair to the game. There are no reversal opportunities. I wonder if it's because I hit it too early and it just, like, completely, like... I mean, based on my impressions, oh, so far I can kind of give you an idea. Um, it's very similar to 2K23. They've made a few things more streamlined, and they've actually removed a couple of features as well. Um, like some things that, like, by doing this, it kind of caused more of an issue. Like, for example, there's a lot more missing of the targets. The reversals don't always work. Um... They've reduced the amount, like there was no option for me to reverse this. Do you see that? Nothing prompted. So I just have to take it. The controls, yeah, the controls are exactly the same to 2K22. So if you play 2K22, you're going to be fine with this one. Um, ow. But I will say there's more cheese in this game. Like... I've missed randomly, and I shouldn't have. Like, there's times where I've clipped through him, and then he gets an e a cheeky little attack, and it shouldn't be happening. I'm not saying, like, a lot of the missed reversals is on me. Like, I totally get that. Oh, did I say they're similar to 20? Okay, yeah, well, yeah, that's what I mean. Similar to 2K22. You know what I'm talking about. So it really depends. I think the story of this... Oh my god. What is that? That stuff like that. I mean, they mentioned him. 
Like, he's been, like, he was in a tweet, like, he tweeted on socials. That's about what he did. But I haven't seen him in person because he's, like, the manager of BCW, and there was a BCW. Like, it, you just compete in the arena. There's no, like, major, it was, like, a side mission. So it's nothing really major, but... Taunt, please. But technically he is in this. At least in spirit. I love that move. That combo is litty. Do it again. Crunching him. It's crunch time. Honestly, it's hard to remember all the all the showcases. I remember I liked the Austin one. Oh, do moves quick. I should have done a superplex. Oh, I ran out of time, guys. See, uh, uh, it depends how you look at it, Sanchez. This, this as I was saying, this is a more linear. Uh, linear storyline, so they probably put more effort into the writing of this one. Whereas 2K22's was more kind of situational storylines, so like the little side storylines, you know, like the little mini ones. That's how the main story was linked up. That's just how they did it. Oh, see, like stuff like that, I should have hit him. So I think there's, it, it, because there's a main story, it's a, probably more interesting. Than, um, than 2K22s, because 2K22s was, and they've done a better job at organizing. Like, for example, remember how you weren't sure if you were going to be able to complete all the missions? They make it very clear cut in this game that you can do all the side missions, and they show you how to do it, whether it be social, they give you logos, they give you icons, things like that, so you know that you're doing a side mission, and how to set up the side missions as well. Oh, I missed it. So I'd say the My Rise is probably better than 2K22's, just for that sake. But the gameplay is where it's kind of hindering it, just with some issues. But that's just the way 2K is. They change one thing for the better, and then they mess up another one. Oh, I thought I got the reversal. Alright, gotta get this reversal. He's toast if I can reverse it. Oh, he's taunting me. All right, if I can nail this spear, it's game over. That's it. He's out. All right, we in the pro circuit now. I mean, this is the gym, though. This isn't the dome. But... I know it's different. I like to give myself thumbnail options, but <laughs> that's why I do that. Yeah, I think that's the idea. It's funny, whenever 2K has... Because Paragon J. Pierce was from last year's game. That's where they introduced him as a character. I like that they reuse their characters. Not only they reuse their characters, they stick by them. So even how cringy they were, it like whether it be visually or, or you know... You know what I'm saying? I like how they stick with it and they keep that alive. After the first series of round robin matches, Dan is tied atop Group A with Finn Balor. While Chosen leads Group B, Apex Tournament. Oh, hi, Dan. Oh, WWE's watching. Got caught looking past Dan in my first Apex match. Won't happen again. It probably will. Chosen to be a bitch. I saw you won your first match too. <laughs> Obviously. But I'm not here to talk about the tournament. I have some feedback on the Great. video you did for me. You mean the video you recorded without my knowledge where you tricked me into saying all those lies about you? Yes, that's the one. After listening back to it, 
Your performance was lackluster and uninspiring. I didn't believe anything you were saying. Well, no kidding. That's because I didn't believe it either. You're not better than me. And if I get the chance to face you, I'll prove that. <laughs> sure. I've already fought Chosen. I mean, don't get me wrong. The video still put up big numbers. After the edit, of course. I'm going to do my talking in the ring. So you can have your Asking shows him to and is such a beta move. social media posts, which I get the feeling you care more about than actual wrestling. No, I care about both. I'm going to win the tournament, build my following even bigger, and then conquer the wrestling world. That's my goal too, minus the lame social media content. I've seen your feed. That is lame. Anyway, only one of us can get to the top. And Rock already had his chance. It's my time now. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, Brandon, how you doing? All right, Tavish has a few words. You're off to a good start so far. It's going to be a tough few weeks to get to the end of this tournament and come out on top. Tournament. Any advice on how to survive? You showed you could tough it out in the British Rules Tournament. So, do more of that? Thanks, I guess. There is one way you could get some extra rest, but it would go against tradition. Typically, you participate in tag matches on tournament off nights, but you could skip them. So, you want to earn the respect of the Japanese fans and show them you have fighting spirit? Or tell PWJ and the fans to shove it and rest up. Okay, get some extra rest, but it would go against you. Typically, you participate in tag matches on tournament off nights. You could skip them. No, let's honor I'm the tradition. I'm not taking any shortcuts, and I'm certainly not going to risk disrespecting the Japanese. Fans. Definitely not. So I'll honor tradition and do the tag matches. Good call. I wouldn't have wanted to be seen with you if you chose the other option. All right, so now we have a tag match. It's just filler. Set to face Akira in the next Group A round robin match. However, first they will team together against Ricochet and Finn Balor. Top wrestlers honoring tradition with off night tag matches in Apex. You love to see it. All right, let's get it. People love Ricochet. He's good shit. He's fun to watch. But these are some top tier competitors. You know what? It's been there's been so many storylines where where you Finn Balor has been like a central fo center focal point. Oh, I hate that. Whenever they block, you end up doing some stupid. Whoa! whoa! I dodged it. Come on, Ricks. Rick, Ricky Tang. Get up, dog. Let's go. Look for you everywhere. Let's go. I wasn't sure if I had reversed it. I I had, but it was like. Come on, Finn. You could say we're finished. those legs my strength is up so anything I'm doing is creating a lot better damage earlier than they had wanted look he's already in the yellow I think it's more so to represent see they always block Yeah, I got him. There you go. Got a signature move from the top rope. This is the one I forgot about. I knew I had another one. Boom! That was dirt. Oh, he's toast. 
He's a toaster strudel, guys. Do I even need Akira? No. I did that all solo. <laughs> it's probably going to make me slightly tired for the ending, but... High five, buddy. You did a great job cheering, in, cheering me on in the corner. Now, this crowd sucks. Listen to them. They're not even doing anything. That's him over there. He had my back. He would have probably fought hard had I let him. But obviously, I don't need him. It's just faster, you know? I know my moveset. I know it works. I'm getting better as a superstar. You know, my attributes are being boosted. It ain't nothing but a chicken wing, mamacita. All right. What a tag match from Group A Combatants. Showcase what the tournament is all about. Damn proving he has that fighting spirit. WWE, you missed the boat. It's been good catching up with Dan. Now it'll be even better beating him. So now I've got to take on my... Fighting Spirit is just made up thing. It's real here. And you've shown you have it. Keep an eye out in the rest of your match for an added boost. You'll need it if you want to win this tournament. Sweet. So doing that was worth it. It's probably going to make you more tired. I think. Yeah, there's a lot of issues. They have too many factors. You know what I mean? Too many. In, the more things that you make interactable. Sure. I like how they're repping the, uh, she's repping the, uh, the actual Japanese referee style. I think they, they've already given me a finisher. I mean, I had a signature move right off the start. That's the upside. If that's enough to take him out, I'd be, that'd be insane. I don't think it is. Right, and then you bounce them too. You like bounce into them. It's just annoying. Oh man. He's already in the red. Come on, bro. Oh, we got out of that. Dude, I don't mean to... I hate when they do that and then they fuck around. And the more they fuck around, the more they're going to find out. Try to reverse it, no option. That's a stupid... you see how stupid that move was? It was just a baby kick. Keep taunting. Too soon, Junior. Got him. Hurricane Rana. One more. If I can hit the spear, it's done. It's game over for Akira. Big play. Uh, Konnichiwa. Motherfucker. <laughs> I told you, bro. I told you. I told you. It's game over. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. We got a baby. That's me. Gotta love that generic superstar celebration. It's literally called generic superstar celebration one, I think. <laughs> If I'm understanding the tournament format correctly, we're nearing the end of the round robin portion, and after a draw against Ricochet, you're now one point behind Finn Balor, headed into your final group match, which happens to be against Balor. That's right. So if I want to win the group to get to the finals and main event, the Japan Dome, I need to beat Finn. A loss or another draw, and I'm headed home empty-handed. Well, hopefully you've at least picked up some cool souvenirs while you're here, so it wouldn't be completely empty-handed. The only souvenir I care about is the Apex Tournament Trophy. 
But to earn that, first I need to beat Finn, which will be no easy task. He's a top WWE superstar, so I'm sure he'll have some extra motivation to not be upstaged by me. If you beat Finn, it's looking like Chosen is a lock. Sorry. It's looking like Chosen's going to win Group B, so you'd face him in the finals. I'm not surprised. Chosen's arrogant, but he can back it up. But if I look past Finn, there will be no finals. So that's my sole focus right now. Yeah, take it one at a time. One match at a time, guys. Uh, highest difficulty is Legend. You got Easy, Normal, Hard, and Legend. I'm currently sitting at the Hard difficulty. Yeah, quite a few. I mean, I was really excited for this one. Uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake. There's some good-looking ones coming up. Oh, I, I would have gotten the comeback. Oh, he moved. Landed like a sack of potatoes on that one. No, Legend Bro would have so much cheese in it, it would basically be like a typical American dinner. That's how cheesy that son bitch would be. It's not even, it wouldn't even be realistic. Like, you got these B-list superstars that are reversing things like, like a ham sandwich. It's just like, it doesn't, it, it, that point doesn't make sense. This, like, there is reversals and things, but at least it's competitive and it's, and you can win without, like, pulling your hair out, you know? Oh, I was hoping it would be a, I'll take that. Drop kicking him. Keep those legs sore, bitch. See if you can time. Watch, he'll reverse this. Oh, he didn't. Now's my chance. Let's work him. I'm gonna do a couple of punches. Just kidding. Oh wait, what happened there? Oh, I'm out of stamina. That was on me. I was out of stamina. I was about to hit him with my finisher last second, but he recovered it. Got him! <laughs> I had him sleeping, but it's not gonna be enough. What? Finn's gone, baby. Get him out of here. He's finished. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We want a grilled cheese. That's what the hard difficulty is. A grilled cheese sandwich. You know what I mean? There's lots of cheese on it, but it's manageable. You know what I mean? But try eating a whole, you know, group-sized plate of nachos to yourself with all that cheese. And there's also, like, jalapenos and salsa and all this stuff. It's delicious. But you're not going to be able to finish it all. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> hard difficulty grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> So legend difficulty is like a whole plate of nachos to yourself. Hard's a uh, grilled cheese sandwich with extra cheese. Normal is more like, I don't know, like a cheese platter. You know what I mean? Like like one of those like uh, cheese spreads, you know? Uh, my brain is, uh, you know, what do, they, what do they call that shit? My brain is failing me right now. Uh, have them all the time. Oh my god, what are those called? Why? My brain is failing. What are, we have them all the time. It's cheese spreads called. You know, they come with meats and cheese. Charcuterie board, that's it. Okay, charcuterie. So that's like a charcuterie board. And easy difficulty, bro, that's basically like a craft single slice. Like a single slice of cheese. That's It's easy to handle. <laughs> or a cheese string. You can play with it, for God's sake. Anyway, <laughs> the Apex Tournament Finals are set. Group A winner, me, will face off against Group B winner, Chosen. So that's up next. Still can't believe WWE Superstars were shut out from Apex Tournament Finals. These two show WWE that the top talent outside their walls. Tired take. And speaking of tired, I'm flying back to my mansion to get up some deserved rest. Have fun beating each other up, Dan and Chosen. Come on, Finn. Be your mansion. Anyway.
All right, how are we doing for the story? This is this Apex tournament is a big storyline, so that's where most of the shit takes place. So let's talk to Chosen. I'm working on my victory post for after I win the tournament final. Do you think 50 fire emojis is too much? You'll really, be flagged really for spam, so yes. Point that I'm on fire. Yikes. You ever hear the expression, don't count your chickens before they hatch? No, but I have heard the expression, don't count your nipples before the milk. That's, a, that's, that's the more common one, is it not? No. <laughs> Why would I not want to count my chickens? How else would I know how many I have? That is dumb. Oh my god. Whatever. Point is, let's see how the match turns out before you start celebrating. I already know how it's going to turn out. I went undefeated in the group stage while you had to win your last match just to barely clinch your spot in the finals. So, I have way more chickens than you. All right, Colonel Sanders, whatever you say. You're really not getting that. Also, your old friend Shawn Michael sent me a DM that he'll be watching our match. Probably wants me to be his next rock. No, I think you misheard him. He wants you to be his next cock with all this chicken talk. That's all you are. I don't think Sean will be interested in signing you after I embarrass you in the ring. Now, who's counting their chicken? Yeah. How much cringe do you... Yeah, exactly. How much cringe do you want with this character? Yes. <laughs> the entire wrestling world will be watching the finals to see how far you've come. So no pressure. You got this. And even if you don't, well, you're on the right track. I wonder if you can lose this one. I don't think so, because this is a major storyline. So we'll see in a second. I'm ready to show what I can do in Japan. This is going to be the dome. Do you remember the mission in, in 2K11? Or, ni or sorry, 2K19? Dome Sweet Dome, it was called. Welcome to the Thunder Dome, bitch. Kobe. A Japanese luchador. Are you even I'm surprised someone didn't go after this guy for cultural appropriation. Honestly, you can't be a luchador. That's that's a Mexican thing. Why is it so late? I've been mashing circle and see what I mean? Even when you reverse, it doesn't even give you the upper hand. I, I do believe there's some, like I said, man, this is the double cheese grilled cheese sandwich that we're playing on right now. I can handle it though, guys. <laughs> I've never seen a Mexican samurai. Hey, Holmes. I'm going to cut you into a thousand pieces there, hombre. That was a terrible, terrible accent. I am so sorry. I got you, CJ. <laughs> Kendall, I love her. Where's the volume? Oh, hello. Okay, at least I didn't use my signature for that. Man, I kind of want to taste it in now, Tuesday. Stomp a mud hole on him. Pick him up, quick, quick, get him up. He's got move thief. I'm gonna, I'm a cha cha cha. That's what a luchador does. The luchador cha cha chas. Oh, see, that's what I was worried about. Shake that booty. You're actually gonna try and pin me, bro. Whoops, I almost messed that up. They give you a double. Oh, he's kicking the piss out of me right now. I think I spoke too soon. Come on. 
Give me a possum. Uh, and of course he's up first for some reason. Gotta love the 2K. Jeez. I didn't get the reversal. Man, those are easier to read like the book. The book. Got him. Listen to that guy. Yeah! He's really excited about being here. Whoa, he glitched out there for a second. Is that enough to take the chosen one out? He's got move thief. He does not have resiliency. He's done. <laughs> That's sick. Give me that trophy. It looks like somebody got it at Walmart. Well, what do you know? It's actually the Great Value brand trophy. That's actually sponsored by Walmart. Give me that! It looks like a shitty trophy, bro. Like, that's what we competed for. Apex competitor. Compete in the Apex tournament. Yeah! <laughs> I wonder if they'll let you go back in time and do the missions you weren't able to. So if, like, I was able to go back and, like, once I finish my story, go back and do some of the main missions in that one chapter. That's something they should do. You know? Like, I mean, that would be nice. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's just like going through and finishing things that you wouldn't have been able to do. That was a big old mission. Justine has one. Who the fuck is Justine? Do we have enough? No, we don't have enough for our next upgrade. How about in here? After outlasting 29 other superstars, Slade is your Royal Rumble. He is? Nothing can stop me from achieving greatness. WWE Championship awaits. That's cool and all, but have you tried winning the Apex Tournament? Blocked. Why Why are they making... I don't hate Gabe. I, I think it's weird that they're making him heal. I did say that we're going to do a heal turn, though. Anyway, Apex Tournament winner has been crowned. Dan Kivet has reached the apex of professional wrestling, outlasting the best in the world. Wrestling world has been put on notice. I'm officially back. I uh, I acknowledge you, Dan, but I still sit at the head of the table. Everyone's journey is different. I have a feeling Dan Kivet is just getting started. Thanks, Codes. Wait, why is Cody Rhodes tweeting? He's not in WWE. I thought he was in uh, AEW. Or is he back in WWE? Man, I don't remember. I think he actually did come back, at least at this point in time. Don't be upset, Chosen Ones. There'll be many more Apex Tournament wins in my future. Thank you, it doesn't need this more than me. Glad I could help him after, oh, after he hit rock bottom. That's not what I saw. He is back. Okay, that, okay, I wasn't sure, because I know he went to AEW. I remember hearing he made a comeback to WWE. I just wasn't sure if he was still there. Just noticed that WWE liked the post about your tournament win. Maybe a sign? Who knows, but I'm not interested in going back. I have all the momentum in the world, and I'm going to keep it going. All right, well, we have another one here. Cat Films All. Hey, any chance you're interested in facing Adrian Buck in a rematch for my documentary? Adrian who? Yeah, he was the guy we fought in the UK. Remember, I made a scent about him being a scent. You face him in a British Rules match that the tournament in the UK. Pretty big moment. Going to be heavily featured in my documentary anyway. All right, of course. Huge match that I totally remember. I just think Adrian's technical expertise and hard-nosed background could ma make for really good chemistry with you in the ring. That's all. Okay, now I'm suspicious. Since when are you booking matches? Must be all that time I've been spending with you. I just think it could be a really cool match for the documentary. Are you up for it? Sure. Adrian Sense. Oh, no. He's he's British. Sorry. He's British. So, it's not. It's Adrian Pence. Right? You're the best. Adrian's going to be so pumped. Buck better just better not suck. <laughs> Adrian Pent. <laughs> right? Oh, man. Pass the buck. And give me my pence back. I don't know, man. A pen is worth more than a cent, so... I don't know. I think Adrian's cent is better. Is Homeboy already, like done like he's he's hung up his spurs so to speak it doesn't mean he's british i mean i think he, we just faced him in the british circuit i 
I gotta ask, I've never watched AEW, is it any good? I've heard people really like it. I mean, it's still kind of an up-and-coming brand, but it's successful enough that people are watching it a lot. It's got its own video game in the works. And I think Ukes is the one making it, which is who used to make the WWE games, and those were fun as shit. No reversal opportunity. I waited for it. Nothing happened. There's a lot less reversal. I think that's why they... I think that happens on the harder difficulties. I think there's less opportunities to hit it and quit it. Oh, I hate that. Okay, taunt. Perfect timing. Taunt all you want. All right, get up, big guy. Keep the change, you filthy animal. He needs another hit. He's only in the orange. He's not ready. I think after this spear, if I can nail him, he's done. Yeah, that, that's probably it for 80 cents. I just gave him my two cents. <laughs> Anyway, is, do you think, like, see, uh, this is a side mission. Uh, there's probably going to be another match. Usually there's more than just the one. Usually the challenge matches have just one, but this one wasn't. It was an actual side mission. What an incredible match. Continue to be blown away by the subject of my upcoming documentary and the subject of my next documentary. I get it now, Kat. You played me. You just wanted to get some shine for your next project. I thought we were tighter than that. Sorry. I was just worried you'd get weird about me taking out another project, and clearly I was right. You'll always be my priority no matter who, blah, blah, blah. Does that mean you're taking... Wait, what did it say? Okay, no matter who else I'm working with. Oh, Chase. I remember Chase. He was your he was the your friend in the in the last game. Does that mean you're taking on new projects? Because I've got a story to tell. Believe you me. Big ditto here. Oh, me too. Ordinario. El Mago Jr. You ever done father-son type stories? I've got an idea that could work for everybody. A six-man battle royale and the winner gets cats full and undivided attention. Or maybe she just gets to choose it. Except one thing, do I get a say in my own career? See, yeah, exactly. They give me some, hey, give me some credit. I'm just playing these guys. This way you can check them all out in one place. So you really want to film next. Should at least save you some serious airfare. That is actually pretty clever. Thanks. Sorry, I doubted you. All good, just one catch. You have to wait to start filming your next talk until you finish ours. Guess that works for me if you win the Battle Royal. All right, guys. A six man. Is it over the top rope? I guess we'll find out in a hot second, guys. Well, I just got Wu-Tanged. Is there even going to be enough? No, there isn't going to be enough room for us to do that. What is happening? <laughs> Look at all these reversals. What is going... <laughs> what is happening? I'm only attacking you, Chase, because you're over here. And you... I got some space. Space to take out Chase. Yeah, this is over the top rope, so it's an elimination. And I have to reverse it. Oh, whoa. Sorry, I have to win it, so it's not... It's weird when there's no commentary. What is going on? Oh, it's a double team! about when there's so many guys in the ring like this you could be dominating a guy and there won't be anything you can do I don't know who to go for I kind of want to go for the El Mago Jr. okay Chase leave me alone while I deal with El Mago are you stupid bro Scenario I want to get rid of now. I'm salty. Yeah. 
I have a finisher though. If you have a finisher. Oh, he's gone. Mago Jr. is gone by Chase. How am I doing? I'm in good nick still, so. Oh man, I was going for El Ordinario and, and then Chase actually reversed me. But there's an odd number of guys right now, so that's kind of the way to go, because someone is always going to be going after someone else. See what I mean? That he just switched off of me for some reason. They're both fighting each other. We're both down, Chase and I in the corner. Okay, let's get rid of Chase since I'm gonna get some ISO. I'm gonna chuck him into the corner. Oh, dude, what the hell are you doing? He just atomic dropped my dick. Well, it's a tailbone move. I was about to get rid of Chase. Oh, there it goes. Don't touch me. Ordinary. This fucking guy. What is happening in this club? They'll, I hate how they randomly just... Don't touch me. He's gone. Whenever they do that move... Oh, God, I'm done. Go for Ordinario. I'm rolling out the ring right now. They're flipping around like crazy. I can't let them target me on the ground because if there's two of them going after me, that's it. I'm out. Please get up. I mean, I have a bunch of finishers saved up. No. Irreversal. What the hell, man? That's such garbage. Oh, I, I, don't, I didn't get him. I'm out. I lost. Isn't that dumb? Nothing I can do about that, really. There's nothing you can do about that. I tried to reverse it, and that move was out. That's the downside about this. It's such a shit show. You can't... Well, I guess you can restart, but there's only a certain amount of time. What's up, Ethan? So annoying, man. Like, you're, you're good to eliminate so many guys, but then they come around and they switch. Instead of finishing their attack, they just switch to you. It's like... Fucking insane. I have a personal beef with Ordinario now. The lack of reverses is so annoying. Fine. Ugh, and then you're not ready for the switch. No reversal. I mean, it gave me one, but I wasn't able to time it. Why is it doing that, bro? Talk. There you go. Hit him in the head. The Dollar Tree Big Show. <laughs> I, think <it> might... <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> That's the best nickname. Dollar Tree Big Show is right. Oh, you reversed it. Zay? Oh, no, no, not you, sorry. Don't touch me. And he targets me. I had no reverse lops. I think it's because of stamina. Holy hell, look at this man go! Yeah, 
See, I hate that. Got him. Like, you could be focusing on Ordinario, but they said no. Nice move, dipshit. No reversal, I was ready for it. Oh, I meant to target him. You kind of, there's a bit of luck to this. Come on, man, get up. Oh, he's gone. That could have been my mistake. My last mistake. Oh, that's it for me, guys. Oh, man, he's running the floor on us. Damn! Throw him out, throw him out, throw him out. I'll just be here. Yeah, that's where they recover. He might be hurt enough where he'll just fall out. Yeah. Oh, no, that's bad. I'm mashing, I'm mashing. Missed it. I gotta do this. No! Man, he's reversing everything. I'm so nervous. I'm out. No reversal option. You see that? I'm out. That's it for me. I lost. I'm going to have to redo it again. There's no way I can reverse this. I'm too hurt. Oh, okay. Or he's doing this. That's kind of a new move. He could have eliminated me, but he didn't. I gotta, like, this guy's getting. He's stunned. Now's our chance. He'll probably just fall out. Irish whip, Irish whip. There you go. Finally, bro. Got a mulligan. Man, I got so lucky with that, honestly. Seriously, there was no way, bro. That was like, if he, honestly, when he stunned me, he should have chucked me out the ring, but he didn't. He just went to, he started like doing a submission move on me, which was his undoing, because as soon as I was able to recover from that, it was game over. He should have thrown me over the ropes, but he didn't take advantage. That's a noob move. That's why he's that's why he's Dollar Tree Big Show. <laughs> oh man. Two for one big show. <laughs> Everything for a dollar big show. Alright, that was annoying, but we got it done. Let's see where we're at for attributes. We should be nearing the end of our storylines. Uh 29. So I have enough for one more. I don't know if I should do striking. Arm power, leg power. So that's all that's going to do. What about aerial? No, no, no. What about defense? Grapple reversal. Honestly, I think I might go for my reversals. Shit's getting annoying. Now at least my aerial... My aerial reversal is really high. Grapple reversal is the toughest. Uh, big news. Unfortunately, negotiations broke down with Adrian Buck, but I'm happy to report I'll be following Chase Rib as the subject of my next doc, which is very cool because I was such a huge Ribby fan. Hope you like your ribs extra spicy, America. Okay. Just gonna move on here. All right, so that's done. Let's take a look at our story progress. So yeah, there's only one more side, which is the Lost in Translation mission here, and then it's just two uh, two mains. 
So, two, but I don't know how long. Congratulations. <laughs> clearance. Picture. So how does it feel to be the hottest thing in pro wrestling since Paul Heyman's undershirt? First, it's great running into you, Justine. Second, I'm going to need a minute while I erase that image from my brain. Heyman's words, not mine. Set him on my podcast. Any chance you'd like to come onto the show? Talk about everything you've been through since you left WWE? Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of your podcast. Tavish and I listen whenever we can. I'm just not sure I'm ready to start telling my story yet. Oh, come on. Your run in the Apex tournament was incredible. And that's exactly what my listeners want to hear about. What do you say? I'll go easy on you. <sighs> no time like the present, I guess. <laughs> Let's do it. Great. Let's set up a time ASAP. All right. Lost in translation. Let's get it. All right, what's up with Chase? Hey, heard you want to rib tattoo. Podcast. Loud and clear. Talking in code again about a platter of stale ribs you threw in the trash. Ah, clearly up to your old tricks. Oh dear. I have to be totally honest. I have no idea who you are. Name's Chase. Had a stint at the PC recently? Or you might even know me as Ribby. Ring any bells? Oh, for sure. You're that mascot guy who almost made his WWE. How'd that all play out? Yeah, he was your friend in the last game. Oh, don't play dumb with me. You know exactly how it played out. I never got a contract offer because you told Shawn Michaels to stay away from the ribs in catering. Which was clearly code to avoid me. Wow. Listen, I'd love to stay and clear this nonsense up, but Cole Quinn called into my podcast appearance to talk smack, and now I've got to go give him a receipt. Oh, I know. I was listening. I liked the part when he said you haven't changed one bit since your mocap meltdown. Why is he talking smack? We teamed together and we were cool. We'll see about that. Good luck, Chase. I hope you get to the bottom of whatever deranged conspiracy theories you were talking about. Oh, I doubt that very much. As I'm repping the fanny pack like a boss. Lol, Dan, you think your rock bottom's behind you? I see a new lock bottom in your future. Weird, I don't see any future for you at all. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How's that BC dub treating you? Stay down, Colt. Oh, who's running out right now? It's got to be Chase, the rib. The McRib. I almost reversed it, honestly. I almost reversed that. <laughs> I'm glad you moved that out of the way. That'd be cool if I did reverse it.
All right, I'm gonna reset. Oh, wait, what happened? I clipped through him. Gotta love 2K. Well, the chapter's pretty cool, I like it. Add some diversity to it. It's like a come up. Get in here, Ch or Cole. Got him. This might bring him to the orange, but he's got a red head, so I don't know. They're also lower stats, these guys, so they're pretty, they're a lot easier to pin. But not this time. We love Thursdays. Did I miss? That one is very particular. Missed again. I hate that shit. They have to be exact. I knew he was going to reverse it. I was waiting for a reversal, never got it. Oh man, I didn't I didn't think there'd be another reversal opportunity. He's working my arms right now. Oh, nice drop kick to the face. Bodies in the red. Hey, Michael. I love the elbow drop to the back. It's so brutal. I was about to roll out, but I did my wake-up taunt, so that's, that stopped him. I think that's it for Cole. I'll see you at the family reunion, bitch. <laughs> Give me that. This is, don't forget, this is still a side mission, so we're not going to spend too much time figuring it out. Or we'll, you know, spend it, you know what I mean. Alright, Chase, I know what you did, and it didn't work. Trish Stratus is piping up. Tell you what, retired or not, real Justine still knows how to make waves in dub dub. Thanks for listening to the pod. Everyone's got a podcast though these days, don't they? Thought you could just blow me off, huh? Not so fast. It's not polite to show up without an invitation, Chase. Guess they don't teach that in deranged mascot school. A good one. But I think it's about time you start taking me seriously. Whatever you say, McRib. You want serious? How about a match? Tonight. And if I win, you leave me the heck alone. Well, yeah, you, you heckin' sure leave alone. You sure you don't want to catch your breath first? I'm not interested in Cole Quinn's leftovers. Dude, I won. Nope. You'll actually be doing me a favor. Two wins and one night is exactly the kind of buzz I need right now. Very confident for a WWE washout. Okay, tough guy. If you've got so much gas left in the tank, why don't we make it a no DQ match? Even better. It is even better, because now I can start dropping bars. And by bars, I mean metal bars that they use in construction. And I'm going to drop it right upon your fucking ribs. I'm gonna bust those things down until they're $1.99 ribs. You know what I mean? The kind that give you the shits. That's the only kind of rib you gonna be.
Come on there. Oh, he kicked me in the face. Oh, I look like a knob now, bro. Why is Chase a heel, though? I mean, he was, like, kind of the nice... Maybe that's why he's pissed. He's trying different shit. No whammies. Oh, there it was. I hate it. I always forget that it's... The, the icon goes towards the lower side of the screen. Man, he is kicking my ass. I hate when they do that. They just go on a run, and they reverse everything, and you can't get a move out. He's looking like a Street Fighter character out here. With that battle stance. But, unfortunately, he's looking like a free-range circus character as well. So, it's like a bit of both. Street Fighter meets three-range circus. No reversal ops. You see that shit? Like, what's the point? I have the ability to reverse things. So, it's like, let me do it. Right now, I'm off, not off to a good start. It says attempt. I've got it, and I can't reverse. I made a bit of a mistake. Going for the kendo stick so soon, but to be fair, I taunted with it. I didn't think he was gonna hit me with it, so. Go, bitch. I like my ribs battered. Sometimes it's better to take the L. Because with the Kendi. Oh my gosh. Oh, he got me with the head scissor. Oh, man, I thought he was going to go up. <laughs> Come here, buddy. I'm right, going to hit him with the cheddar. Might as well hit him with the steel steps. Steel steps. I think someone should check on him. Ah! <laughs> oh, I wish you would. Oh, Chase, I wish you would. Get your ass in here. Oh, <laughs> what a baseball slide. That's how it's done. All right, let's get him with the Hurricane Rana. Oh, shit. That's bad timing. Smart move, though. Missed that timing. It's always before you think it is. Oh, man. Bad to, double bad timing on that one. No reversal option. I think I canceled it. No, he got me. Even though I hit it. I guess I wasn't fast enough. They have changed the AI though. The AI is smarter and a little bit more spammy. No reversal option. None. I had no. What's the point, guys? Had to use it. They're still not giving me a reversal. See? No option. I can't reverse these. You just have to take it? Like, how's that fair? How come they can reverse everything? I'm, I might lose this match. 
by Chase. I think I might have to restart. Oh my god, I got out. That ought to do it. I still have a signature if I need it. Whew, that was a close one. That kick out was pretty mandatory. Because you gotta remember, these are the optional side missions where you can lose and they will just continue the story. All right, well, we got 15 out of that. I think that's it. I think all that's left for this uh, the story of this, 19 points. Nothing we want to spend it on. The only thing I think we can do... Hold on. Dan, any chance I can get you back for another podcast appearance to tell everyone about your recent appearance in law? No, thanks. I'm done with the podcast for now. Too many crazies listening. Ooh. We shut our shit down. Corey Klein. The episode you recently recorded for Justine's podcast has been taken and down effective immediately. Why? Chase's legal team contest the moon landing reference I made. Podcast is produced by WWE and you don't work for WWE more. Or did you forget? Ever seems to be reminding me. Wow, that's fucking rude. These guys are so rude. Why? The thing is, why wouldn't they tell her? Why would they bother having me on the podcast just for them to erase it from memory? Like, is nobody keeping... That's so stupid. All right, like I said, I think it's only two more story missions. Harry's situation than stealing the show. Maybe that'll get us back to where we need to be. So let's, uh, let's drop it like it's hot, big players. I have another big opportunity for you to generate some buzz in a different part of the world. I'm gonna have to start paying you commission. What are you thinking? 25%, 30 or maybe 20% plus a cut of all future royalties? <laughs> I was kidding. Royalties. Right. Me too. Anyway, I can get you on a show in Mexico teaming up with Hector Flores. WWE sending him to Lucha Magica for a special appearance, and the local promoters are looking for a hot commodity to team up with him. I didn't really cross paths with Hector much when I was in WWE, but I've heard he's a good guy. And if not, well, at least it'll be some good exposure. I'll do it. All right. And the flight's on you, since, you know, I'm not getting paid for any of this. All right, men's Latina heat vest in the Mexico Plaza. That's pretty sweet. Sorry, guys. Let's see if there's a. Yeah, I guess I can come back for now. I was sure there was gonna be a cutscene. They seem to be kind of up and down. Come on. Uh, didn't I know right. you were going to be here too. Uh, same. I had enough of you after the Apex tournament. Thought I could be look free for a while. Don't call me that. Okay. Look. Gentlemen, you're going to have to learn to get along better since you'll be teaming together tonight. What? I thought you said Hector Flores was my partner. Hector is your partner. Both of yours. It's a trios match. You know, Lucha Libre tradition. You gotta stop doing stuff like this, Tavish. I knew you'd throw a tantrum and not want to do it, which is why I didn't tell you. So I'll stop doing this stuff when you learn how to get outside of your comfort zone. Are you two done yet? I don't want to do this either, but I'm not over here crying about it with a weird old wrestler who follows me around everywhere I go. 
Okay, I see your point about him. But it's too late to change the match. Just put your issues aside and work together. You don't have to be best mates or anything. Deal? It will be good content for my socials, I guess. So, I'll do it. <sighs> Fine. But just this one match. That's it. I mean, it, it, this will be drawn out. We know it will be, guys. I forgot about Hector Flores. Wasn't he your, like, teammate going in the last game? Like, he was, like... I don't, I don't remember where he was. Hey, Hector. The next I was happy to be teaming with you down here. Until I, I found out we were also teaming with Chosen. It will be fine. I've known Chosen for a while. He can certainly rub people the wrong way, but he means well. Maybe you're right. I'm willing to give this a shot if you are, I guess. But enough about Chosen. What have you been up to lately? It's been an interesting time for me in WWE. I turned down the chance to join Los Lotharios, and they've been messing with me ever since. Ha. <laughs> Faction trouble. I had my fair share of that in WWE, too. You're better off on your own. Yeah, in this case, at least. Anyway, I'm happy to see you doing so well now. I had heard you were having a hard time after WWE. Someone said you got into a fight with Sami Zayn at a video game shoot? <sighs> yeah. That happened. But it's all in my past, and like you said, things are going well now. So let's keep the positive momentum going and get the W tonight. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Or did we have a stint with him in Mexico in a different... I don't know, man. Soda Cup special guest Hector Flores, Dank 3000 Chosen, team together in exciting studios action. One of these is more special than the others. He's always got to open his mouth, doesn't he? Didn't I answer all that, Gaz? I've gone through it a, quite a few times. Shit, sorry, I'm not ready. No, pause, 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 pause. Sorry. Okay. I hate when they block it. It doesn't always work anymore. Oh, what a waste. Why did it switch? You see that just switch it just switched pl That is annoying. Wait, wasn't it Sami Zayn in the last game who played El Ordinario and he was like a hidden identity? I mean, yeah, it is definitely glitchy already. Or it is glitchy. There's a lot of... It just kills... It kills your momentum and it's just like, come on. Alright, I'm gonna tag in Chosen, I suppose. Might have some cool high risers. No reversal option. You see that? Nothing. Why are they so few and far between? Ref, get out of the way.
I knew he was gonna reverse it. He was on the verge. Bye. I hit him, it lined up, I got lucky. Might as well clock him into my finisher while I'm out here. He's stunned. I could probably get him counted out. Oh man, dude, I think I think he might get counted out. Unless my player will throw him in the ring. Oh, he's done. We won. I mean, I think that. I think that's. What do you mean? I did. <sighs> they didn't say by pin or submission. That's bullshit. We won the match. That fuck you. And he's like, yeah. Dumb, 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 man. Stomping a muddle on him. Oh man, he got tripled. Better start though than the last one. Nice drop kick, dipshit. What's well, this win the trios match? That's the rules. It doesn't say by pin or submission in there. Normally it does. Can you imagine if I just absolutely swept them right now? All by myself? I swept them. There you go. Get sweeped. <laughs> oh man, that was so much better. I didn't need any help from anybody. I just took that on my own this time and it worked out better. Come on, loading screen. Bruh, this is a long one. There you go. Uh oh, watch the flood. What the hell are the pinatas? Do the pinatas. Listen to the sound of those things hitting us. It's just like, whoop. I'm sorry, am I supposed to know who they are? Who are these guys? I, they're still the pinatas to me. Was that supposed to be a big reveal? Because I didn't know who the fuck those guys were. Just a bunch of jobbers. <laughs> All right, welcome to a new era. Oh, that's Garza. We're Legado del Letorios. 
Umberto, and Escobar. Hector Flores made the mistake of turning us down, but everything happens for a reason. We are stronger now with Escobar. Fuck, I hate that. I'm trying to read it. All right. We are stronger now with Escobar, and anyone who stands with Hector or gets in our way will suffer. For history, live for legacy for my new family. We are ready to take control. You've crossed the line getting my teammates involved in our issue. Let's tell this now. Just us. The only way you'll say Legado de Letharios is in the ring as if you bring your partners back. And Chosen's Mask is on the line. No chance. This isn't their problem. It is now. I'll do it. If Legado de Letharios put their hair on, on the line, let's make it a mask for his hair. I accept on behalf of Legado de Letharios. We won't lose, so there's nothing to worry about. All right. Be careful against the new group. They seem like they're out for blood. I know I told you to learn work, learn to work with others, but some fights aren't worth it. It's a lot of back and forth, isn't it? I'm sorry for getting you two involved in all this. That attack was my fault. You didn't know that was going to happen. And now, this is our fight too. We need to get revenge. But putting Chosen's mask on the line is taking things too far. I'm not a masked luchador, but I understand how important it is. Losing your mask can destroy your career. It could tear you apart both professionally and personally. So I've made the decision to call off the match. If this is our only chance at revenge, then I'm willing to take the risk. We are doing the match. What about your image? Your social media following? Your plan to be the best in the world? You could lose everything while we have nothing at stake. It's what you would do, right? I don't know. Before you went to WWE, the answer would have been yes. I actually looked up to you back then. You? Looked up to me? Yes. You are so confident in everything you did. But then you failed in WWE. And not because management held you back. You headed yourself back because you lost that belief that you could succeed in any situation. You made excuses and blamed everyone instead of just doing the work. But I'm not going to make the same mistake. I see. That's a lot to digest there. Are you sure about this, Chosen? What if we lose? I can overcome any setback. That's actually another lesson he taught me. I mean, Look at how terrible things got for him. Yet, here he is. I mean, he threw everything away. Like, it got really, really bad. He was a prama at the airport. Okay, okay, I think we get the point. But how about we just don't lose? That works for me. All right. Let's do this. That's interesting. I, I Honestly, I didn't call that... He would turn into a friend, but I kind of knew that's how it's going to be. A Gigante Maskers hair match will take place at our year in Arena es es Estatel Megavento Mania Magica. Chosen will put his mask on the line alongside Danky 1000 Hector Flores against the Legado de Letharios Mania Magica Maskers hair. Don't worry, Legado de Letharios will be leaving this match with our beautiful luscious hair. And Chosen will be leaving with no mask, his career in shambles. Manu Familia is going to prove we are in the greatest luchadores of all time. Well, naturally, we know what's going to happen. It's going to be like that thing with Donald Trump and Vince McMahon where they had to shave each other's hair. You've I mean, had some time to think about what Chosen said. Were you surprised that he looked up to you at one point? Yeah, I was. I just thought he didn't look up to anyone. But it meant a lot hearing that and why he thought my WWE run didn't work out. I'm not sure if I agree with everything he said, but it was interesting to get that perspective. This mask versus hair thing is a huge deal in Mexico. It's actually called a lucha de apuesta, which means match with wager. Someone finally did their research. Like you said, it's a tradition that goes back a long way in Mexico, so I take it very seriously. I might have had my differences with Chosen, but he's putting so much on the line by agreeing to this. So, I'm going to do everything I can to not only get payback against Legado de Lotharios, but also protect his mask and legacy. We owe him that. Interesting turn of events here, guys. 
So we're going to try and get the dub here. Well, we will get the dub. We have to. It's part of the story. I think this will probably finish off the storyline, though, for this one. Thanks for the assist on that one, fellas. I like that this one's actually in uh, its own wrestling dome. kicked right now. Reversal. Oh, and then his friend came out of nowhere. Why is it 2v1? Oh, the timing of that was late. See, each move has this distinct timing. It's hard. You gotta learn them. Missed it, keep missing them. It's frustrating. Get up! I'm still down. You just sit here the most of the match. Whoa! Flores is in excellent shape. So he's he's doing the best out of all of us right now. Damn it, they messed me up. That's okay, he's on it. We're like working him right now. He's stunned, hit him with it. Oh, he got out of that. I guess you can't really see the battle going on. I'm right in the way. He's taunting this little butthole right here. Hector's got to use his finisher. No one got it out of all those guys. So annoying, guys. I got him! 
Come on, ref, count it. Where's the ref at? Ah, two count. I'll wait it out. That's not what I wanted to take out. Oh, I go for the pin. Yes! All I have to do is keep distracted. Let's get it. Shave your heads, bitches. <laughs> do we get to be the ones to shave their hair? Yeah, they're bringing the, they're bringing the clippers out. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's going down. Oh, no, those long locks. Oh, that's brutal. We didn't even finish the job. I love that calm. They're all covering each other's hair up. It's just an embarrassment. There's no choice that you'd have to shave your head. <laughs> How's that? I'll bet you'd have a lot of questions as to what's going on if that's all you saw. Good stuff. All right, so that should probably clear it out. I never once thought, like I said, we'd be uh, homies with uh, our boy here, with Chosen. We fought with him. We fought for him. Harry situation. We got the Latino Heat and the Mexico Plaza. All right, that's going to leave just one more. Legado de Lotharios might be looking a bit different next time you see them after getting themselves into a hairy situation. Why are you tweeting about this? We were requesting three months off to recover. Check out my feet for pics. They always act like babies, now they look like them too. Lebalo de Lotharios. And what do we got in the DMs? What did I just witness? Did you actually outside your, get outside your comfort zone and learn to work with others? It was one match to help an old, an old rival. Let's not get carried away. I know we haven't always gotten along but i just wanted to say i heard something you said everything you said and i was proud to fight alongside you and help protect your mask whether you've been opposite at the ring or teaming you've been a big part of helping me get that confidence back that i can succeed in any situation i believe you can too new phone who's this seriously so you just team with who's not hector flores jk jk just wanted to break up the love fest so it just feels to say that you have my back and i got yours lock thank you but again don't call me lock how about chosen junior i know i'm good with my own name talk soon All right. What are we sitting at the attributes? Is that enough? 34. So I can boost my striking. That'll bring it to an 84, right? Or an 85, actually. How about the resilience? Uh, that one's 97 body durability with 81 across the board. But that one's already got a 20% bonus because of the side mission we did. That's the only reason that one's higher. What if we put this up to a 10? Can we afford it? Yeah, we can afford defensive 10. We'll still end with... I mean, reversals be capped out. You know what, man? I'm just going to go ahead and spend it and max it out. Max out the defense. So we're sitting at an 88 for strike reversal, 83 for grapple, 93 for aerial. So, But there's no bonuses. If we get any bonuses through side missions, that's going to help out something fierce. All right, let me just confirm. Uh, the last story mission is next, stealing the show. Let's do it. We'll close this one out proper. What's up, Ramon? Have you heard what Noam Dahl's been up to lately? I've been a bit busy winning matches all over the world, so no. I haven't had time to keep up with Noam Dahl or NXT UK at all. Well, you're in luck, because I have been watching, and I'm really good at concise, informative recaps. Noam Dahl is now both the NXT UK champion and... Holder of the Heritage Cup, which, reminder, is defended under British rules. Recently, he issued an open challenge for anyone to face him for both of his championships. Not bad on the recap, but could have gotten to the point quicker. That open challenge is intriguing. If you're interested, I can put some feelers out with NXT UK. Might as well. I am interested in answering the open challenge, but don't bother reaching out to NXT UK. I have a different plan. WWE likely won't play ball with me after how things ended. So what if I showed up unannounced? <laughs> Are we doing an invasion? 
Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. What happens if you win? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I'll play it by ear. All right, NXT. So we're actually okay. You're about to enter a story game. Playing will advance the story, and you'll not be able to return. Yes. All right. So we're gonna be going to NXT for this next story, which is pretty sweet. I don't know if it's gonna lead us to NXT. NXT UK and Heritage Cup champion Noam Dar has laid down his open challenge yet again and is waiting for anyone in the locker room to step up and answer it. So far, no one has been able to defeat the dual champion. Hold on. We have an unexpected trespasser here. Do your job, security. We're not focusing on what's going on to not give any publicity to someone who's unauthorized to be here. It looks like Noam Dar wants to let him stay. Then I guess we can say his name. The man formerly known as The Lock is trying to stage some kind of publicity stunt by showing up here at NXT UK. I may no longer be a WWE superstar, but that doesn't stop me from answering open challenges. So I'm ready to do this if you are. Noam Dar has informed me that he will accept the challenge as long as the match is contested under British rules. As far as we know, The Lock has never competed in a British rules match while Dar really? specializes in this style as Heritage Cup champion. I'll do it. Let's go. Brilliant move by the champ. A guaranteed way to send this unwanted visitor home. Is it for the Thank NXT title? We're going to have a former WWE superstar competing for two NXT UK championships. This is insane. Please, for the love of God, no Dar, just win this match. After a shocking turn of events, the former WWE Well, very champion. The Lock has just turned NXT UK upside down. This is a cool spin. We've been in NXT in past games, but this is like the UK branch. NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup. Pretty ambitious if you ask me. He may no longer be the lock, but he certainly looks locked into me. And he better be if he wants to come out of this British rules match with some new hardware instead of a restraining one. Enough already. Bang! This match grinded him down a little. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Oh, he got out of it. And that holds Dar back. Long outburst of attacks to finish him. Just a continuous rush on Noam Dar here. Oh, big sauce. Instincts need to kick in. And Swanton finds the mark. Oh my God! Springboard moonsault! Wow! Ooh. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Get his reversal out of the way. Why wouldn't it let me? Oh, right, it's that's why. It's you, it's yeah, it's you, it's UK title rules. You can't just think of writing this out. He had. I'm not allowed to leave the ring. That might be enough to get me my first fall. It was. He must have seen that coming. This match may be nearing its limit. Not what you want to see by uh oh second row. Oh, that I clipped through him. And that was a well executed attack. Right to the kidneys from behind. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. That rearranged the spine. Ah, oh, striking with a knee. You're probably right, Christian. They're probably going to be like, yeah, like, oh, you want it, but he's not allowed to have the title because he's not a contracted superstar. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I got him. Disgruntled former employee just walked in here and captured not Give me one, that. but two NXT UK 
TNT Championship. This is a dark day in WWE. It is, but more importantly, how do we move forward? Is the former lock back in WWE now? This is pure, absolute chaos of the worst kind. I don't know what's going to happen either, but maybe the new champion can shed some light on his next move. If you haven't been keeping up with my career since I left WWE, I've been busy rediscovering what made me the next big thing and the lock in arenas all around the world. But one thing's been missing. I haven't had any hardware to show off. That changes now. Wrestling fans everywhere, this NXT UK Championship and that Heritage Cup are coming to an arena near you. Are you kidding me? Is he stealing the NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup? It certainly looks that way. Again, where are the police or the Bobbies or whatever the hell you want to call them here? Now you can add assaulting security. Oh, snap. The rap sheet. Somehow, a dark day in WWE just got even darker. I might as well cancel the rest of the show. Just shut it all down after that. That's hilarious. I love how we just made out with it, too. We just pieced out. I mean, we're sticking it to them. Stole the show, quite literally. I think that might be the end of the storyline. We just kidnapped your title. Watch them just be like, hey, null and void, we'll just get another one. It's kind of like what happened with CM Punk jacked the WWE Championship. The NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup are currently being held hostage by a non-contracted individual. WWE does not recognize this person as the official holder of either championship. Legal action may be taken to resolve this. Oh, shut up. Recognize this individual and would love to have Danky Without bring his hardware to Lucha Magica. Pro Wrestling Japan is also open to hosting dual champion anytime he wants. Don't leave us out. Come to law. We want the hardware. Looks like the gamble paid off. WWE may not recognize me, but everyone else sees me as the hottest thing in wrestling. And WWE won't see you as anything else. I see you, Dan, and I think everyone knows who you are now, coming from The Rock. Chosen. Hijacking the NXT UK broadcast, winning two titles, and then stealing them. Thank you, that's boring moves from Chosen. Premium content. So he's got my back on this one. I see you haven't really learned anything in your time away. Too bad. I can't say much else other than you'll be hearing from our lawyers. That's such a pussy move. Come on, Sean. This is great content, and you know it. Why is everyone, like, the stuff, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I gotta stop this for a second, guys. I gotta stop Shawn Michaels right the fuck there. Didn't WWE, it's more specifically DX, invade WCW? I'm sorry about what's this about lawyers? You're not allowed to be there either. So it's just, <laughs> it's so funny that this is the lines they're pulling. Because it's like they do this shit all the time, bro. It's part of the game. Man, this is great brand type. But in the in the thing is, in the, in the real life, if they were to do a story like this, it would be just that. It would be a story, and it would be a great way to get attention. But in the games, this is all real, right? It's all legit, which is always so funny. So, oh. that's what you meant by playing it by ear, huh? It's what felt right in the moment. You've always told me to trust my gut, right? Sure, but sometimes your gut is wrong. I mean, after all, it's just a gut. It's got no brain cells or anything. Are you not on board with this? No, no, I'm on board. It's just, you know, lawsuits and such. But bloody hell. I stick it to WWE. <laughs> That's more like it. So, you're the master planner. Where's the first stop on the I stole the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup World Tour? We need to think of a catchier name to that. That is, I, that is true. They never, they did try though. They went with like megaphones and everything. And I'm just saying, I guess yeah, he didn't actually. Ne they never actually did it, but like, the the he still would have done the same thing. That's a Shawn Michaels thing. He was a part of that situation, so. We're going to take things back to where this crazy ride all started. That's right, Shannon. I'll do this, then I'll uh, do the female version, the legend career or storyline. And then I'll also do um, uh, the showcase mode. What has everyone been watching? Seen anything good lately or just attention craving clowns showing up where they don't belong? Anyway, business is usually here for someone who does belong. You're real WWE champion. So he's, he's the WWE champ? Oh, hi, Slade. I think you're referring to me, the NXT UK and Heritage Cup champ. Miss you, buddy. 
Don't think you're trend. Don't see you trending, but Dan is, I think, or maybe just trending for me. Not sure. Either way, sorry you're getting overshadowed by your old mate. Chosen's laughing. He's dead. I have a feeling that this is going to get us into NXT. I think we're going to be wrestling in NXT as the next chapter. People are hype about it. And then we got uh, Dollar, Cent, Dollar Tree uh, Big Show in the ring waiting for us. I'm putting it on the line, too. So do I have to wrestle everybody and their dog? Like, all the brands? So it's going to be UK, then it's going to be Japan, then Mexico? That's my guess. Not a good start for your boy, for the champ. Oh, there you go. Don't give him a chance. Did I miss? That was weird. It's the dollar store. You can get anything for a dollar. Oh, baby, come on. Yeah, it's the dollar store. Reach inside and grab your pocket change. You can buy almost anything for a few pennies. And we also have a solid return policy. It's the Donna store. That's all I can think of when I see this dude. Kobe. Oh, I, my head would have taken him out. Oh, missed it. I hate when I miss them, like, miss the easy ones like that. Wow, he kicked me right in the head. I'm trying to get in here. Get in here, big player. I hate that. You have to wait till he's up before you can do the move. It's like... Get ready for something that you never know. Soups. Soups on. What the? Oh, wrong button. My bad. I thought I had the finisher. There's not going to be much room to do the finisher, but I think I might be able to do it. Yep. No problem. I think that's it for Dollar Tree Big Show. Thanks for coming out. Let's retain. That was like the best promo I've ever seen in my life, Red.
Like when he hits him over the head with the bedpan? Like, come on. He's like, all right, nurse, I'll take it from here. And he just starts wailing on his leg, hits him in the head. <laughs> the ping, too, is just so funny. And watching, like, old ECW matches as well. I can't remember what the old announcer was, the younger guy, but he, he always had the best commentary. Yeah, he's old as Cookie same. sheets Wrestling, in the temple. Honestly, like, it's hilarious. How long can this go on? <laughs> is there a plan here? Or is he just avoiding a real challenge of returning to the place he failed? All valid points. Have you talked to him about this? I tried, but he didn't want to hear it. Plus, there's possible legal action from WWE. It's gonna get ugly. I might have to do what I do best and gently guide him to make the right decision. I don't know if I've ever seen you do that. Come on, we're going to miss our flight to Mexico. And since when do you do interviews? What are you even saying, anyway? Time to go. So Mexico next, then Japan, I guess? I mean, he wants what's best for him, but obviously we're going to make it back to the dubs. The big brand. Lucha! Lucha! I like they they show it the entrance because it's a unique. Uh... Oh look, he's still got his hair like that, dude. He didn't fix his hair. What the hell? Oh my god! You'd think he'd shave it off. They left it for the sake of this. That's just the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you for leaving that in. That's just classy. Yeah, it's the same entrance each time. Just in a different location. And it's the same referee as well. I can't skip it though. I hate that with a passion. It's very particular about where it wants you to go. position to taunt. Oops. I'm trying to save it. I don't want to get... There it is. Still kind of a rubbish reversal, but I, he missed. Oh, that's bad timing. Oh. No reversals at all. so infuriating because you just sit here taking L's when in the past games you've been able to reverse this kind of stuff I think they're just trying to make it even like more back and forth instead of just one sided but it's not very graceful like, look I have not been able to reverse anything none of it's reversible like my raincoat get rid of them I just needed a moment that was a lapse in judgment 
I think that'll be it. Oh, never mind. I gotta get him back in the ring. It's pointless to fight him out here. Get him up. We'll spear him, and then we'll, he can't. We can't reverse it. That's it. Once again, retaining. Is it gonna show, it's gonna give me the title. Is it gonna give me the trophy? No. It's the same old, same old. All right, let's run it back. PWJ was the hottest thing in wrestling. The LA champ, Dan Q. That was first chosen at the Japan Dome. This time, two out of three falls. I think I'm the hottest thing in wrestling, but I respect what Dan did. Every tour must end, though. That's my hardware now. It's going to be fun chosen, but I guarantee I'm leaving Japan with everything I brought. I'll be tuning in for this. All right, so the, the, the finale, basically, of this one is taking on Chosen. It makes sense. Our formal rival, now colleague. Well, they're always colleagues. But we'll see where this one goes. I don't wonder why you can't skip this. I think it's because it's kind of cutscene-y. Because it's got a unique entrance. I mean, the title's kind of irrelevant here, which is kind of funny. But I guess because WWE is like the biggest name in, in the game. You know? All right, same old, same old. I don't know, it's some generic thing. It's different for this one because there's a trophy and whatnot, so. That's dumb. We both miss, so I should get the upper hand. Or we should both even get the upper hand. Dude, I reversed it. That's why I stayed there. Reversal again. No reversal, apparently. I love that move. There's certain moves I just loved using. Missed it. Oh, I wasted it and he still grabbed me? That's horseshit. Listen to those guys just shout. It's just like they're really into it. Three. 
Ah, oh, reverse it. That's always a that's always a worry. <laughs> Stop falling off a cliff. That uh, definitely does, doesn't it? No reversal options. Opportune times. Ooh. God, it's, it's getting a little annoying now. We still don't have a single fall. This should be enough to get it, but. Crossbody. Ah, oh, he reversed it again, hey? And then he's up first, of course. But he taunted, which was a mistake. Stomp. Okay, he's toast. Right, that should finish our tour. Uh, maybe there was no cutscene. No, I mean that's gotta that's gotta be it. They're gonna take notice over in WWE because they want their shit back. And I'm 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 like streaking, right? I'm making all three dubs. They can't deny that it's best for business. You know, that's always Triple H's motto. So let's go about it. Those of you who didn't get a ticket to the sold-out Japan Dome, watching the good old pay-per-view, Chosen and I tore it up, but I still got the hardware. Makes sense that two tools will be fighting over hardware. <laughs> Normally champion, that's funny. Shut up, Gabe. All right, where does this leave us? We've got a bit of a problem. The NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup have gone missing. I swear I had them through customs when we got back. Do you think the airline somehow lost them? Or maybe they were stolen? Ah, oh, this is bad. Okay, just calm down. How can I calm down when the two things that have helped make me the hottest thing in wrestling are missing? Uh, let's get this straight. You made yourself the hottest thing in wrestling. It's not about the hardware. And they're not missing. I made a deal with WWE. What do you mean you made a deal? You've had your fun, jaw riding around the world, but now it's time to face your challenges head on. That means returning to WWE. So, I handed over to the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup in exchange for you 
getting your job back. I'm not sure I agree with how you handled this, but I get why you did it. You're right. Maybe it is time to go back. I am right. And are you honestly surprised I did this? It's kind of my thing. No. Should have seen it coming a mile away. What can I say? I went with my gut. I wasn't going to sit back and let you make the same mistakes I made in my career. So you're going back to WWE to become the megastar you were destined to be. All right. I guess we're headed to Raw. So we're not even going to go to NXT. It's just straight to Raw. I mean, we'll see in a sec. It's still this chapter. It's when the, the loading screen changes. It's certainly been a wild ride lately. I didn't expect it to happen like this, but I think deep down, I knew someday I'd have to go back to WWE if I truly wanted to prove myself. Tavish was right. It's time to take this challenge head on and make up for how things ended. This time will be different now that the handcuffs are off and I can be myself. And there's only one goal in mind. Get to the top and become WWE champion. Now that you can be yourself, are you going to show up in WWE with your current look, debut something new, or return to being the luck? Interesting. I'm given the option. Debut something so you can change your outfit or go back to the lock. Current look. Like I said, I've had a lot of success on the international scene. I feel comfortable with what I'm doing, and I want to keep that going in WWE. You mentioned how your goal is to win the WWE Championship. That's interesting, because since you've been gone, your old faction mate Slade has broken through and become WWE Champion. I've been keeping my eye on Slade or Gabe as I knew him, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't impressed with what he's done. But here's the thing. He accomplished all that while I was gone. But now I'm back. So holding on to his championship just got a whole lot more difficult. You think everything will be okay with WWE management after you've basically hijacked their titles? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. All right, I guess that'll be... Yeah, so he's the champ. So is that how it's going to kind of close in, do you think? Do you think this is the last chapter for the career? I guess we'll find out. Here we go. Just like riding a bike. Only there's a horde of angry men trying to violently knock you off. You got this. Been a while. Meet your new and improved replacement. <laughs> we'll be seeing you around. That was awkward. <laughs> At least you haven't run into Sean Michaels yet. If I had to guess, he's saving that for later tonight. Uh, it depends, Borvat, honestly. Like, in some ways, it's this is better. In some ways, it's not. So, I, it really just depends. I mean, there's certain things that they've streamed. I like the story mode. It's a little more fluid. There's more interest here. But it's also, like, the other one was just chaotic in, in 2K22. They had, basically, look at it this way. The way stories worked in that game was they would have, the side missions in this game were how the main story worked in that game. So, they had main stuff, but it was just, like, it just didn't feel like there was it was like written for anything if that makes sense this one has that but it's got the side missions it's way more organized because before you'd be doing side missions and you didn't even know it like you'd be trying to start up oh there's like it would show question marks of which missions you had right 
Um, and you wouldn't necessarily be able to get them because you got them out of order. This one shows you how to get them all in order and do it right and make sure you don't miss anything. So you, you were able to miss a lot of stuff in that in the in the last game. So, uh, but at the same time, there's a lot more bugs. Not bugs, but the way the uh, physics work in this game. They've tried to advance on things, and some things they've streamlined, but some things are just kind of annoying. And it's like they've changed it, and it, it just makes it less fun, or you know, this cheesy moments. So it really just depends how you look at it. Anyway, we've heard all the rumors and can confirm that Dan is running returning to Raw tonight. In addition, WWE exec Shawn Michaels will have an important announcement regarding the Locks' future. So hyped, so not hyped. How does this guy keep getting second chance while Mr. Sammy in the bank continues to get held down? Conspiracy. All right, we got some DMs. Need to be back at some point. Congrats on getting a second chance to show everyone what you can do. All right, so I think this is where... Let's take, take a look at the story process. Teamwork makes the dream work, so that's the next one. There's 21 missions. As you can see, there's only two optionals, and the rest are... There's no challenges, but look at all that. Like, that's a lot. So there's only two main missions and the rest are sides. But there's, there's like, what is that? So 21 to 29. So there's like 19. That's crazy. Uh, anyways. Um, so we'll be picking this up tomorrow, guys. Uh, before, we, before we go any further, let's see if we can access any attributes. We have 22, so it's not really enough to get anything. We're sh just shy. So I don't know what I might do next. I might go with striking next and get that up. Because it's at 82. This one is... Is this one upgraded? I mean, 91, 81. So grapple offense is pretty good. Resilience is good. You can get your durability. But there's also special. Your special is better. Things like that. Pin escape is, is actually kind of low. There's no... The only thing is body durability has been upgraded. It is what it is, though. So we'll leave it for now. Uh, and we'll come back to this tomorrow, guys. We'll do the next chapter, which is teamwork makes the dream work. Otherwise, though, that's going to be it for New World Border. That was a fun one. Cool, like, jumping across, you know, playing different, uh, you know, different scene, indie scenes. That was, that was pretty neat to make your comeback to Raw. So, but with that in mind, I'm guessing that the, the Legend career, the female one, is going to be SmackDown-based. And this one's Raw-based. That just makes sense to me. I, I wish there was, like, an NXT story. I mean, there was briefly, but it doesn't seem like you can choose brands. There's no brand choice. It's all scripted in this one so some people might find that to be a step away but it is what it is anyway thank you guys for coming i appreciate it. i was man i managed to get two streams in today so that was pretty sweet if you enjoyed the stream today or both of them this one whichever make sure you leave a like of course comment your thoughts below and make sure you are subscribed turn on those post notifications with the bell icon as well so you don't miss anything i put out uh be sure to like follow my socials as well got a facebook twitter instagram snapchat and a discord all linked in the description below uh if you want to get a shirt of hoodie of mine link in the description for that also in a better feature right below the stream scroll down and see some goodies i have there a uh, big shout out to all the sponsors of the stream of course dx racer boats coffee always bearded the ridge wallet matter of a tattoo and jinx custom controllers i use the products every single day you can check them out for yourselves the links in the description be sure to use my promo code danq8000 save at checkout finally guys be sure to check out and sign up for the team 8000 membership program if you haven't done so already it does support the page a lot there are four tiers available entry basic premium and ultimate all four of those tiers have a wide variety of perks obviously the higher up in the list you go the better and more perks you're gonna get for signing up but that entry level is only 99 cents so it's really cheap and easy to get into the program you'll get things like custom badges by your name custom emojis using chat exclusive video stream access private open lobbies giveaways discounts and plenty more we were at 450 members earlier today but obviously a month ago we were gifted 50 members at one at one point and all 50 of those members expired during this stream so we are back down to 403 but that's okay we'll just keep working our way back up i appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me anyway uh let's try and get back up to 450 and ultimately 500 so we can get the next emoji uh like i said sitting at 403 so let's just see what we can do you can join that with the link in the description this join button below the video on my main channel page as well you can also gift the memberships if you are an android phone or desktop currently not available on iphone iphone just yet but it's in the works so if you are one of those you can gift uh obviously with the right next to the chat there's a dollar sign icon buy it tap that uh you can gift members that way in the drop down menu anywhere from one to 50 let's see what we can get otherwise thank you guys for showing up today hopefully we see you tomorrow as we continue this i don't know how many more chapters are left in this one but teamwork makes dream work is the next one on the agenda so we'll be back with that i hope you guys are ready for that anyway thank you again have a great rest of your day guys and hopefully we see you tomorrow as we continue the male my rise career the lock thanks again guys we'll see you next time peace